fucking sound effect just fucking just made it right there. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because it's like he has the stone look face. It's yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm trying to help you. You know what? Fuck this nigga. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Here's the part. Here's the other one. Oh yeah. Damn it, we have it. Hold, Hold it right, right there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Vanish <laughs> I don't know That was like the coolest shit to me That was sick <laughs> <man. McDonald's. laughs> For me I was like What's the reason for the smoke if we still saw your ass go up <laughs> <laughs> And then he, he's like fuck I can't find this nigga <laughs> You know how he looked? You know what he was like? He was like, who the fuck is this nigga? Right. He was like, fuck! <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's right. hilarious. When McDonald's screws, your, <laughs> screws up your order and you pull back to drive through, it look like this. It was uh, right. episode. <laughs> we're episode 107. Yeah, yeah. Episode 107 of the Jig is Up podcast. This is our. Infinity War special. We had to do it. So if you're not a geek, don't listen to this. <laughs> Sound crash music. <laughs> What up, what up, what up? Yo. Yo. What's going on? What's going on? It's, uh, I guess, a guy's night out. You know, uh, Nessa isn't here. She's on tour. And, um, yeah, she's on tour. She's actually in Cabo living her best life right now, having fun. So have fun, uh, be safe, and I'm pretty sure she'll have a crazy story time when she gets back. (laughs) <laughs> I know uh, I'm waiting for the snaps <laughs> Oh boy Kmart's with the shits Hey shit It's a good one What do you expect Hey man He, he got all the smoke right I want, now I want footage He want footage <laughs> Footage Girls gone wild Cabo, Cabo. edition Nessa edition <laughs> <laughs> But um, Anyways man You know me I'm your host Yours Marco And I'm with It's your guy M. Easy It's your boy Kmart A.K.A. Clutch A.K.A. That nigga in the back yeah, that's it. <laughs> and um, you know, we're gonna you know talk to one of our good friends about this. He's a fellow gig. He's been on the show. Um, it was uh, what a time to be alive. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I give him a call. I'm gonna text him right now. But as soon as I get the okay to hit him up, he's gonna be with us. And that's our boy Demetrius Green. He also wrote the article "It's Okay to Be Crazy" on the Jiggers Up Podcast dot com. I know we haven't done any much articles at lately, but we need to get that popping again. But anyway, guys, um, you know we can always talk about what's going on, hot tops and all this, but nothing's hotter than uh, Affinity War, man. Uh, we've been waiting. Well, technically, we waited what six years for this to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Six years Six because years, yeah. that's when Thanos was introduced at the end of, right. you know, of uh, the first Avengers. Mm-hmm. But this has been a 10 year making in the process. And Marvel has been creating, a, building a universe, building a world like we haven't seen. This is like some, un, you know, unfathomable shit that they've been doing for the past 10 years. You got to give it up. Disney's a machine. Yeah. You know, is, there, is there any other franchise or anything that like adds to all this shit up or this is like the first time in history like um i don't i mean i'm pretty sure like a long time ago universal had the monster universe but it wasn't nothing at the magnitude of this yeah 
nothing at the magnitude. And, you know, it's one of the, and, you know, Affinity War is one of the most ambitious crossovers, as they say. Mm-hmm. And I know there's plenty of memes saying otherwise, I, but just to be funny. I, I'd probably say that the only thing I can think of that maybe come close is maybe Star Wars, and that's it. Yeah, Which Star Wars. Yeah. Also, Disney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know what people slept <laughs> on, too? Um, do you know what kind of built the MCU from their Fox? Um, from their Fox, not the Fox Studios, but the Fox Animation. Remember, mm. they had Spider Man, and Spider Man branched out, had X Men. He yeah. had all these other characters coming in within Spider Man. So it kind of probably sparked the idea for for Kevin Feige and all them to go ahead and get it started with this whole shared universe. And yeah, dude, like it, yeah. it gets you excited. Like like you just feel like a kid again. You know, Same when people behind that, those cartoons, did. yeah. Fantastic Four. Yeah, I know. So Surfer, Surfer, the Hulk. Thor. And remember Thanos used to sound way different, like, on the animation? Oh, yeah. He sounded like, I don't know. Mm. I, I, I'm glad it's a forgettable voice. No no <laughs> offense to the yeah. to the voice actor portraying Thanos back then in the 90s. But Let me say, that's all we got. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody didn't really know how to put what kind of, like, dialect or voice you'd be yeah. down for somebody like that, you know? But yeah, man, uh, we're gonna hear we're talking about Avengers. Man, what do you guys thoughts, man? Uh wow. we waited for quite some time for this to happen. Shit got real. Shit got real. <laughs> it was it real. was worth the wait. It was. I I'm not disappointed. I'm not as disappointed. As far as like looking at it as, as how they, they put together the movie. You yeah. know, of course I'm gonna be upset about the characters and stuff. Right, well, how well, the story played out, but that's how it's supposed so, to play so out. So so what made you upset? I mean, you know, it's just Watching the story play out and it's the actual story of them losing the battle against Thanos. That's why I, I, I like about of, it. Half of the galaxy. That's what I liked about it. <laughs> half of the you, universe. You, you got to think about it too as well. Like what? I mean, because honestly, like what super? I mean, there's any superhero movies that you know where the guy actually got what he wants and he actually the bad guy won actually that shit. Won? Yeah. The Joker, Dark, Dark Knight. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't I say that? When yeah. You said it. We were thinking about that in the movie. It's like, wait, damn, I said that maybe, in the maybe, movies. Maybe, maybe every like, like, say, damn, is there any other like movie that actually does that? I'm like, I, I kind of think of them, but yeah, we were trying to go baby. Yeah, that sounds about right because you know the Joker definitely got what he wanted. Yeah, you know, he, he got, got what he wanted. He, he wanted to make. Mm-hmm. He wanted to make uh, Batman break his rule. Mm-hmm. He wanted. He wanted. Uh, he wanted uh two he wanted to show two face ain't shit. See, nothing safe here. I got another one that uh the bad guy won in the end. Uh this one I'm debating about. I think I know which one you want know about to say, but I am kinda of debate on this one. He was actually the hero of the movie. Oh my god. Per se. I said this before, guys. Mm-hmm. Killmonger. Killmonger? Yeah. Uh, what 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 was the what 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 was his main thing? Sharing every sharing the the weapons and stuff, right? With with right. everybody. And what did they? What was the end result? <laughs> sharing, <laughs> sharing their advanced tech with the worst, the rest of the world. Hey, but, yeah, you got a point there. You got a point there, but not the mere use. Not, not in particular use of what they from wanted. From, from a surface level, you're right. Yeah. From beneath the surface, <laughs> not it's, really. it's a little misguided because Killmonger wanted to use that technology to give it to uh, Wakandan, you know, agents. And just go out there and just wiping out, <laughs> wiping yeah. out colonizers, kind of ages and yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. wiping colonizers but, out. But I'm just saying, like that is that is a good way to look at it, though. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely, man. Because he argued that he didn't just say like, "Why you guys didn't do this and wipe out everybody that was against it?" No, nah, he was just saying like, "Why y'all not sharing this with the rest of the world?" Right. So. No, no. For, from from what I got from Killmonger, he was like, "Y'all niggas." Y'all niggas are, are living good out here while people yeah. look like you are suffering. You yeah. have all the things, all the resources to help us from that. And you guys just yeah, letting this stuff be, happen. Y'all being selfish. Y'all <laughs> just being selfish. So like Pretty now, much. so now I'm going to challenge him for the throne because you ain't doing your job. King T'Challa and King T'Challa. You know, T'Challa's like, I'm, I'm the king of Wakanda. I'm not the king of everybody, you know. Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. He had a change of heart. <laughs> <laughs> It's like we're gonna share this with the rest of the world. Oh, <laughs> share it with the rest of the world. No, Not everything. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Not a good shit. <laughs> but uh, of course, you, you you asked me what I was upset about. Personal stuff, right here. Oh, you yeah. saw me. I was ready to get out of there. Okay. Uh, when, I, um, when, when I saw we, one of my favorite characters, can we hold that, hold that thought real quick? 
Oh, okay. I'm going to call my boy. I'm going to get him involved. Uh, what? He seen the movie, too. Y'all oh. should do like a screen capture thing yeah. where y'all can record the uh, the video, too. Your iPhone is not configured to... What? Well, How are you going to lie to me like that? Technical difficulty. Technical difficulty. Ain't that a bitch? Oh, That's all technology for you. Yeah. I wish we had Condon's technology. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, what kind of tech this wouldn't let you down? Like this in the past. Where you at? <laughs> oh, hey, how you guys? Shit, doing? Wayne Tech wouldn't let you down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, yeah, you go ahead and express. Uh, I'm going to figure this shit out. Oh, uh, well, back to you guys listening. Mm-hmm. Marco asked me what I, you know, what was I upset about? I was upset about motherfucking Black Panther dissolving yeah. into nothing. That, that shit hurt. Man. Being, becoming non existent because it's like this motherfucker just sold out like a billion. In the in the box office, and y'all pick him. You know, I, I was thinking like Iron Man, Cap. These niggas. Been I'm around. thinking they, they I'm, got they trilogy. I thought Cap was gonna be gone. That's the one. Yeah, thing. me too. I, and you know what's funny? I said Loki. Yeah. He got choked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn man. Damn, yeah, it was it was, it was some key players. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, and to piggyback on me not liking Black Panther dissolving, you dissolve. Motherfucking Falcon, nigga. The Falcon, Nick Fury. Nick, F- these black people. Yeah, yeah. dude. Too many black people. God damn it. <laughs> and Don Cheeto is still living. <laughs> hey, you know I'm not mad at that. Hey, bro. you know he's kind of he's kind of like an OG because it seems like the people who lived in that movie were OG Avengers or OG uh, before before Avengers happened. Yeah, because pre Avengers. Yeah. Well, yeah, Doctor yeah, like Strange new- is still living. <laughs> but no, he didn't. He dissolved. Did Doctor Strange dissolve? Yeah. He oh, yeah, he dissolved. Oh, yeah, he did. Doctor well. Strange, uh, Spider Man, mm-hmm. Black Panther, um, Peter Parker died. Yeah, Falcon, and those and those are tech. Yeah, technically all newer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the newer the new booties the newer died. Avengers. Yeah, the newer the new the newer people died, and uh, the more the more more likely the OG stayed. Like so, oh, yeah, the Hulk stayed. Yeah, you're right. Cap Hulk stayed. Cap Hulk stayed. stayed. Black Widow stayed. Mm-hmm. And we still Rhodes don't stayed. If Iron Man fucking stayed like yeah they had well that is the reason why we you got two one. stark fucking technology staying alive fuck mm-hmm. that well shit I mean we got to get some brains in this motherfucker I mean shit if <laughs> well if one of the, if two of them go we're fucked <laughs> you make a point because if it was either or yeah sorry Rhodes he would have had to dissolve too that have been another black dude right we need Tony <laughs> they they have to keep at least one black person alive. <laughs> Hey, they had to, man. Yeah, they like, okay, hold on. We, we <laughs> But literally just one? <laughs> yeah. Well, well no, shit. No, no, Okoye, she counts. Okoye counts, too. She counts. And, she's out and there. Shiri. Oh. Let's see if this works. Sound like somebody calling. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like the RZA. <laughs> Answer your phone. Answer your phone. Answer your phone. We do this rough, rugged, and raw. Oh. Oh. Nope. Hello. Probably catch another time. But yeah, man. You're probably using the restroom. (laughs) Probably. (laughs) Yeah, but yeah, that's. I didn't think about that though. So. Hello. Yeah, there we go. We got Demetrius Green here on the show. You're live. <laughs> hello, hello. You hey. live with is uh me, M E Z. What up? K What up, M-E-Z? What's good? What up, K Mark? What up, John? We're talking about all the black people who died. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm like <laughs> Uh huh. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go no, ahead. no, no. I, I got just, a lot to say. I'm let you start. Well, you know, I just said, you know, the the movie started off with the first brother to die, Idris Elba. That's I'm a, saying. Yeah, see, that got me. Oh my god, Heimdall was on the screen for two minutes, and they took him out. Normally, a brother gotta walk through the woods first. He just right. laid down, and I feel like, but see, this is the thing, right? I feel like, you know, maybe that was clever. Maybe that's what America is like right now. Uh, all you gotta do is lay down and move your hands, and you might get shot. I'm just saying. <laughs> I understand where they're coming. <laughs> 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 Message. Message. 
Oh That's boy. What I'm saying though. <laughs> hey, just yeah. to just to just to be clear, can you hear us perfectly, Mr. Green? Uh, I can hear you. Hey. Great. I can hear you great. Um, I'm not. I can't hear MEZ or Kmart can't, as well. Hi. They sound further away. Oh, check, check. What's up? Oh, they sound further away. Okay. So, can you hear me now? Okay, let me uh, listening. let me see if I could just put it in the middle if that helps out. We're we're, okay. we're new to this, so yeah. if that if that helps out, if it reverberates yeah. and all that oh, stuff. Oh, it's because of the laptop. Oh, yeah. okay. I yeah, see. so I'll put the laptop in the what middle. Up? <laughs> what up? What up? Okay, cool. All right, we're 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 doing much better now. All Thank right, we're, we're we're rocking and rolling. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so you uh Imizi was explaining about villains who got what they wanted from a movie like this. And we were talking about from a comic book stand. And he asked, uh, what was the last comic book villain? Well, I asked. That, oh, you asked? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who, what was the last comic, comic book villain uh, got what he wanted out of the movie? And I said Heath Ledger's Joker. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good one. I can't think of anybody else. Because normally, see, that was the thing with this movie is that, you know, it, it ended, right, with the villain on top. Yep. And... Most of the time, that doesn't happen, and I think the closest Never thing to that happening, like you said, was the Joker, who, for him, on top was being locked into an internal fight with Batman and creating anarchy, and mm-hmm. he didn't get that taken away from him. So that's as close to on top as you're going to get, I think, before Thanos. Yeah, I mean, you could kind of say Loki in uh, Thor: The Dark World mm. because he oh, wanted to sit on right, the throne, okay. and, he, um. and he act like he was Odin. He's like he he faked his death and act like he was Odin. He's like, yeah, I get to rule the throne for a little bit until he gets exposed on Ragnarok. And that's true. And then I think I mean, M- make the argument. For and that. then Mezy made the argument for Killmonger. He said Killmonger got what he wanted. He had Ooh. he he got uh Wakan he got T'Challa to share the Wakanda technology with the rest of the world. Okay, so I I would beg to differ with Killmonger. Mm-hmm. Only because I mean I see where you're coming from, and um, especially with the fact that he did. First of all, he did get to to rule Wakanda, even though it was for a very short time, and he got that technology being, you know, he got the access for people that he was looking for, mm-hmm. and to an extent. But I feel like I think that we like Killmonger got the 22 year old college idealist version of himself what that guy wanted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you're yeah. 22 and you're like, I'm going to change the world and everybody's going to be happy about it. Like, think, I think that that's what he got at the end of that movie because sure, technology was shared in a diplomatic way in slow stages and he got a taste of, you know, ruling and he it, people at least acknowledged that he was part of the royal family, which is something that he wanted. But for Killmonger, the day he died, it seemed like he had already progressed past that where yeah. he no longer wanted the ideal ending. He wanted a takeover that would result in a worldwide revolution. You know what I mean? Yes. And he didn't, he didn't get that revolution. Not only did he not get to see it, but you know, you're like, okay, well maybe he's a spark for it, but, but really they went into another direction. They chose option C, you know? Yeah. So he didn't really get that revolution. So I don't know if, if he got what he wanted, I think we got what we wanted out of him more than almost any other villain. We got what we wanted, but mm. I don't know about him. And, and what and what is that that you believe that we wanted? We wanted a villain, first of all, to be a real person, to have a real you know real character. But we wanted the villain's desires and needs to make sense and right. be met in a satisfying way. Okay, that still allows the hope in us to survive, and we got that with we'll Killmonger. So, you're saying what he wanted made sense? I'm saying that what he wanted made sense to him. And it was, you know what I'm saying, it was perfectly justified in his eyes. And I think that we got to see him achieve that dream for himself. And Mm -hmm. that gave us completion, like, with him. But then we also got to see that, you know what, there was a better way. And, you know, if you want to split it into good and bad, which you really can't do with a movie like that, but if you wanted to that good one in the end and that's what the audience kind of needs sometimes unless you're going for like a tragedy or, or something like that um and so we got that but i think in his eyes yeah it made perfect sense you know what i mean the reason i say he still won because he made wakanda go get a break out of their way 
and I think that you're right. I think that he he got he got like leverage, like you know what I'm saying. He got like a piece of what he wanted, but I I feel like that's kind of like getting a slice of the pie versus the entire pie. Like, right. well, I mean, I can the, argue that with the Joker though, because he didn't entirely get the whole slice he was talking about. Or right, the, but what was the, the, what was the was entire for? slice that the Joker was going for? He wanted anarchy. He wanted he wanted anarchy. I mean, he didn't get an entire slice of the pie because that he didn't get to blow up both ships. Right. He wanted them to turn against each other, and then Batman was just saying, like, look at you. You're all alone. You're the only one who's loony like this. Yeah, so he, he didn't get the anarchy. He, the, the, entire, he for, the entire anarchy he was looking for. But in leverage, he... And he, on top of that, the, uh, the guy that he corrupted didn't get seen publicly as a as a villain because batman covered that up okay right so all right so I, I see where you're coming from with that but i would say with the joker right like the last line of the film that he has right is that they could do this dance forever and you know what we know about the joker we know that he i mean he he loves batman in a weird way you know what i'm saying and because uh, the joker wasn't killed at the end of that batman film he could still get what he wants and i think I, I think that like it would be nice for him to have gotten both ships to turn, right? It would be nice for Harvey to um, have been seen publicly as his evil figure. But what did happen is that the Joker got um, Harvey to turn, basically. That was, right? that was his so leverage, pretty much. He corrupted this beautiful, you know, magnanimous figure. He got that to happen. He also got to see people on both ships to see how totally depraved they really were. And instead of half of them dying, all of them now have to live with that information. And he got, in his mind, he got Batman to, to, to be eye to eye with him. And he got to say, look, we're, we're the same. You and I are the same. And, and, and he broke his own rule. Remember, he said, Batman, you're going to break your, you're going to have to break your own rule, which he did. He ended, right. he ended up killing Harvey Dent to save uh, Commissioner Gordon's ki- uh, children. So... Right, it, it, so it, everybody, it's everybody all subjective. Rocks. Like this whole like the good guy yeah. winning is very subjective. So, I know we could go all day about this. Just to confirm, you, you guys said he lived. Joker, lived? yeah, Joker did. Yeah, live. Joker, Joker, Joker he did. He, live. Did, he didn't die. He didn't die. He, he didn't was die. he was just hung upside down with the rope, and the yeah. and the police came and got him. This is not in 1989, unfortunately. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. no. The, the Joker lived. Yeah, he lived in that one. He lived. He lived on that one. But you know, back to the subject at hand, the Avengers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know every it's a lot to process. The movie was damn near three hours long. Oh, I yeah, mean, we yeah. could <laughs> we could probably start from the from the top where the 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 X Guardian ship was being invaded by Thanos and the Black Order and the children right. of Thanos, and mm-hmm. um, you had Ebony Maw giving out this little uh, monologue about like you know even in death you're now for a cause for a higher cause of Thanos basically purifying the universe which isn't quite a a, a a real good i mean everybody's like that's cool it's good to see thanos having range emotional range you see him happy you see you see him kind of happy you see him um relieved yeah. tired you see him cry you see all these range of emotions from a cgi villain at that and yeah. and uh it, it was it was just you know refreshing to see that from a marvel villain and Especially, yeah, with those type of characteristics, like you don't see that. He said they have one goal, more purpose. Yeah, uh, you know, That's for true. the thing. But this Thanos, but, but Thanos is like, man, it's like all a whole bunch of shit. He had decisions. He had to make choices. Okay, you don't his, see that a lot. But his motive kind of remind me of General Zod's motive. You know, he, you know, uh, his t- his his place Titan is all fucked up because mm-hmm. he didn't purify or you know take half of the people the population he's saying maybe the universe is too populated that reminds me of yep. Rajal Ghul Rajal mm-hmm. Ghul in the DC universe is the same way about the earth he's like yep. the earth is too populated I'm gonna have to kill a lot of people for the earth to survive right and, right, and that's right. and that's the way I feel about his um his his whole thing about the universe mm-hmm. which which kind of got me confused because at first I thought after the first Avengers, when you first saw him, and when his uh, henchman said, y- you know, to do this is to court death, and he had a smile on his face, I'm thinking that he's talking about Mistress Death. I'm thinking he's done do this for over over a woman, like he did right. in the comics, mm-hmm. in Infinity mm-hmm. Gauntlet. But I know I've been uh, informed now in the newer comics, uh, Infinity, he does it for the fact of uh, pure, you know, scaling the balance between two all the, all the universes. So. I would have personally, as a comic book fan, I would have loved to see Mistress Death. 
because it would have made a more compelling story. Mm-hmm. But I can see why they didn't do it because his love for Gamora and that would have built some kind of conflict for him to get that stone, the the soul stone. Yeah. But um, but yeah, man, uh, I do want to get into uh, the bodies. Heimdall's body number one. Damn. Yeah. Body yeah. number two was Loki. 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 Yeah, so how do you guys up. feel about Loki? You think Loki's permanently gone? Or you think he's going to come back? Oh, he's dead. Because <laughs> he, even Dana said there's no resurrection this time. I think I think they did everything they could do with Loki mm-hmm. for right. a story arc. Yeah. You know, you've seen the good, the bad, the ugly, the funny side of Loki. You've seen everything that you can do with mm-hmm. him. Tom Hiddleston had a great run with mm-hmm. Loki. Yeah, it's time to move on. Yeah. And then. Um, uh, I, would, I would say that. Uh, I mean, I kind of agree with you. I feel like we've seen a lot from Loki. And then also the way that, that they had him killed off, it was in the most noble way possible. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so it's one of those things where it's like, you want this character, if you wanted this character to end on a good note, this would be the way to do it. You know what I'm saying? He's still Loki. He's still a trickster. He's still himself. But he died trying to save people. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, in the comics, you know, Loki gets like reborn. You know what I mean? So, I mean, they could go with that. I don't, I don't know. Okay, and it then uh, we talked about. Well, let's talk about uh, the whole getting his ass beat. <laughs> yeah, uh. yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs> like people got people got to remember, Hulk is a very strong guy, but he's not a skilled fighter, and that showed in separation. <laughs> what a uh, question, question marker? What what fight does like boxing match does that remind you of? <laughs> um, like, I to me like. He, <laughs> Uh, Thanos had some good hand-to-hand combat skills. He 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 punched him in his Adam's apple. He was giving him some rib shots and kidney shots. Uh, yeah. Some hit him right in the solar plex. He was kneeing him in the face. And he yeah. even gave him a gorilla press slam to to end it all off. Before Heimdall like, look, homie, let me get your ass out of that here before you get killed. <laughs> right. So that was a merciful teleportation. You know what I mean? That's yeah, that's, serious. That's crazy. I mean, too, man. I, I, and I agree with you. It, it did come off as if he was just a more skilled fighter. Like his size didn't inhibit his ability to to move as like a really skillful skillful um, you know guy. And like you're right, like it, it, the Hulk is a brawler. You yeah, know what I'm saying? He's it, coming in with these wide punches and I and there was like one sequence of hits where it's like Hulk swung wide and Thanos came in and just lit him up like from the inside, body, it, neck, the whole thing. It really and set the tone for like the to, to see telling like, people how powerful thing those is and how skilled yeah, combat is yeah. like oh shit and like he beat the hulk like that so like, it's kind of like it just it's kind of like, for the entire movie it's kind of like the jail rule you know what i mean like when you're in the yard none of us been to jail but as they say <laughs> when you go in jail you go after the biggest motherfucker in the yard and beat his ass and let him know that you mean business and that's exactly, yeah, exactly what, what happened <laughs> what thanos did he went to the that was bi- a message he, he fought the biggest <laughs> motherfucker in the yard and beat his ass and that set the whole tone of yeah. like Thanos ain't nothing to play with, right? That no, that you know that was that shit and things like that for him and Dolph doing that. That was a message. We're sending the Hulk back to, to Doctor Strange. Yo, he's coming. Like, <laughs> just yeah, Bruce Banner and all beating up. Shit. He said, "Hey, yo, and the, and we got Hulk, problems." And the Hulk lost his confidence. Yeah, he didn't want to yeah, come he out. Did. He like I'd never seen the Has Hulk. Has that, that happened way. in the comics? Mm-hmm. Does anybody know? That's I'm good. not sure. That's a very good question. I've never came across that in the comic book. I like, wouldn't be surprised. Like, I've but seen, then, yeah. I've, like I'd, I'd rather see them get the Hulk ass kicked and he's still mad trying to fight back. Yeah, which, which yeah, is getting handled right. yeah, instead true. of him bitching up like he did. Like yeah, that, 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 that really character. bothered me. I'm like, really, Marvel? That's the job. That's what we doing. The Hulk doesn't want to come yeah, out because Hulk is as strong as it is. He, he goes opposed to any anything like, that comes forward. Like, the person that gets angry and the, the you yeah, know, Hulk more is angrier, a sore the loser. Stronger, like, yeah, that, and, and, <laughs> but that it doesn't it doesn't look right though for, well, for that. It doesn't, well, you know, in this weird. case, it didn't look like he was a sore loser. It looked like he was sore and he didn't want to get hurt no more. Like on some bitch shit. Like, he, he still got. He still hurting. He no <laughs> he, he, he's still hurting inside. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah, he ain't want no problems. Yeah, like I'm like, not coming I was out. Like, the whole guy shook. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. He that, he and the thing the was, and the thing was, is Thanos wasn't even around. It was just the. It was. It was Ebony Maw and and the Black Elf. <laughs> <laughs> right, he, he, and he looked at them that's, like that's another thing I want to say. That hurt my heart that we couldn't see him get down with the black yeah. elf. With the black he, elf. He, he, he busted uh, yeah. a Scooby Doo. Uh uh-uh. uh uh-uh. 
I'm like, what are y'all doing? Take it down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah Spider Man and Iron Man handle it out and and, and you know, kinda like you know, uh, Tony was like, "Dude, I, I could use your big green friend right now, homie." Yeah. Like big green friend was I mean, like, "No, yeah, he could because he could. I mean, like he could have helped care. out. Like, <laughs> he could have held. He could have held yeah, he him or some shit. Like he could have done a lot to help out. But man, I think that beat down like got into his memory banks. He felt that shit literally. So. It was so fast too. I think. Yeah. I think it was that first shot when he hit him in the throat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he never felt that before. <laughs> I, hey, I tell y'all all the time. I, tell, I, I be telling y'all all the time. Yeah. If I ever got in a fight with a big swole dude, I'm hitting him in, in his the throat because he yeah. never gonna forget. Right, right, right. Hella, hella Denzel Washington. He he got game. No, do you know what's funny? My stepdad told me that he was like, "You find someone bigger, you hit him right in his fucking Adam's apple." Like, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. That yeah. And that's exactly yeah. what yeah. Thanos did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. The he took it to the streets with this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't fight if you can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this is how we get down tight, motherfucker. Man, stamina <laughs> gone. <laughs> Like here you go, stamina gone. <laughs> Yo. He was like back in my planet, kids picked on me because I had purple skin. <laughs> I had to learn how to fight. <laughs> yeah, because like you know, I understand making easy work out of him as a message, but the whole thing of Hulk really not wanting just, be- just bitching out. out. Bitch yeah, out, I, did, yeah. I didn't like that part. I was like, just make him still be mad and stuff. And I agree completely. Man, I, 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 I yeah. even have to say, even fucking Team Groot had more heart than the Hulk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Team Groot he had sure more the fuck heart. Did. He said, I'm he a tree. And he still had more heart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a tree and I'm still trying to be the same. A fucking tree. Yeah, man. Um, well, I mean, what, what other parts that got you upset about the movie? <laughs> oh, me, me partly. <laughs> uh, there wasn't a lot of parts that got me upset. Just uh, that really stood out the most, what they did with the Hulk. Like, oh, that yeah. just kept stick, sticking in my head. Like, yo, why the fuck are you not? I think they did that for comedic relief. Yeah, plus I also thought about like, oh well, they have a whole nother movie to bring out. So maybe yeah. it, they could they could show itself. They kinda used it to set the tone of the movie. Like that's yeah. right in the beginning of the movie a uh, movie and they was like, Oh damn, he beat the Hulk like that? Man, we ain't in for a fucking treat. Like it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a long long movie. <laughs> so, fight. So when we see part two, we'll see if the Hulk shows up. Yeah. And he yeah, redeem and, himself. It's so. just funny, I have to give it up now. I think uh movie directors and, and the teams have been a lot smarter and more hip to all these youtubers trying to analyze trailers because you didn't uh, see that that run that you know that they did with black panther and all yeah. of that, oh, and yeah, the hulk yeah. and all that they thinking yeah. that like the hulk's gonna bust out the hulk buster and fuck some shit up that didn't happen nope. so i think i think now from here on out you're gonna see a lot more comic book movies are just gonna put in like trailer clips that are just not necessarily gonna be in the movies just to throw everybody off for the sake of storytelling. They did a good job. They did a really good and job. And they did a that. damn good job at that. The right. Russo brothers fooled everybody. Like, oh, the Hulk coming back. I, wanna, yeah, I do, cool. do yeah. want to give Bruce Banner's pop props for taking on the, the Dark Elf, though. In that in the, uh, in the Hulk Buster. Buster. In the Hulk Buster, yeah. yeah he did. He had he to did. figure it out. He had to figure yeah, it out, he yeah. he figure it out on his own. With one arm. <laughs> and after that, I would have been, been talking shit to the Hulk if I was Bruce. I'm like, see, I don't need you. Bitch ass motherfucker. He said that, bro. but it was yeah, right before he, he did it. Though he was like, "Man, screw you! I don't need you." I learned it myself. <laughs> yeah, he did. You're right. He said, "I'll do it myself." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I learned myself. <laughs> so, oh man, big ups to him though for doing that. So. Uh, what about you, Kay? What about uh, any parts that you probably kind of like made you? Uh, you didn't enjoy too much for any reason. I mean, b- b- besides, I mean, all the black superhero characters <laughs> mostly dying, and yeah, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What are the kind of things that kind of <laughs> fucked me? <laughs> Peter Quill. Oh, yeah? That? Peter Quill. <laughs> yeah, Peter Quill. Oh, yeah. God damn it, man. You have one job, Peter. Damn. One job. Oh, my Dude. God. <laughs> like, oh, had Spider-Man had, a, oh, had, had it on his grasp, and then as soon as he went down, woke up, he took this, and he held on this, and it, nope. All yeah. he had to do was keep his hands to himself. Yep. That's, that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That you, is know what, you know what's funny? I was um when I was in the theater, I was I was next to my wife, you know? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And you see him start to get upset, you know, and she was like, He better not, he better not she talked to me, <laughs> right? <laughs> and she and so you know, he like he his dude and she was like, Oh, why are white people so entitled? Yo Yo I'm like he just he just didn't care like he yeah. was so upset. He just said he, he just said like, fuck the plan. He ain't think what yeah, was at stake. Yeah. It's all. It's all. It's, it's, it's so funny. It's, it's funny uh, how he boasted. He's saying, "Yeah, this, this all this is all just my plan anyway." 
And then he yeah. fucked up his own plan. Yeah, You're right. Because yeah. it wasn't even all, all, all was, the way executed. If, if I was Charlemagne, and if I lived in the Marvel, Marvel Universe and I was Charlemagne, Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Donkey of the Day go to Peter Quill for fucking up his own plan. <laughs> It caused him and millions you know, and would millions of lives to be, to be be gone. Thank you, yeah. Peter Quill. He was like, hey, but shout out, shout out to you because you got DJ MV out of here. <laughs> you <Yeah>. stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just want to hear Charlamagne say, I cannot believe that Peter Quill had the unmitigated Go. goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, can you, can you give Star Lord Peter Quill the biggest hee haw? Right. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't give him the sweet sound of hammer tones after half of the motherfuckers got wiped out in the universe. No, you're getting the biggest E. Oh, yeah. right. wait. And then dude comes back and has a nerve to be like, Did we lose? Yeah. Like, yes. See, yes, we lost, dude. We lost. Yeah, if I was yeah, present, if I was like Stark or somebody, we'd have to throw hands. Like, <laughs> I would have bla- I would have blast his ass. Him, I was like, yeah, we lost, and you about to lose right now. Yeah, right, right, right. You, you son of a bitch. Okay? Right. And, you, well, and right, you know what? Well, right now. And people were so blinded by rage, also because Drax didn't even want to listen to Quill when they were going into uh, yeah. the visit too. True. He was like Drax. Drax is like, nah, fuck that. It's on site. He said, right yeah. now. And Drax is like, it's on Today. site. He said, he killed my friend. You know what, <laughs> now that you guys mentioned that, I wonder if those things were like, like not just intentional so that they would lose, but intentional so that we would have to, like, like I mean, that's the way I'm thinking about it, right? Uh-huh. Like most of the time, they have a plan, they get emotional, they get in there, you fight with your heart, and you win. And this is one movie where, like, you get emotional, you get too heated, you fight with your heart, and you're going to lose. And uh, I love how at the end with Captain America, he's all heart. He's all heart, and there's some strategy, but he, he's heart. And using his heart, he always wins the day. And he lost. And mm-hmm. his last words were, my God. You know what I mean? And I feel like they wanted us to understand that this superhero trilogy or whatever is not going to be like everyone else. You have to be smarter than the villain, not just faster, not just, you know what I'm saying, not just have more heart or have right on your side or mm-hmm. good on your side you have yeah. to be better and you know what part of it make this uh adventures 4 even more uh interesting i believe since half of the heroes are wiped out they got to be half of the villains so they might be just like the enemy oh, of my enemy is that. my best friend so you might right. have some people who are sworn enemies you know putting their beef to the side like yo we got to go after this motherfucker mm-hmm. that would be cool i mean honestly like you said i mean he, he wiped out half the galaxy it, yeah. it wasn't Good guys, that you know, snap of the indiscriminately. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So, damn. That's interesting. I would like to see that. I know they're gonna keep it under wraps because they did it with this one. Yeah, yeah. they did a good job. Like Keeping Disney it. ain't playing. Yeah, man. leaks and everything. I, what leaks? <laughs> and, and the two movies after. If you know what, it, even though it's epic as Affinity War <laughs> was, it it kind of makes it. I don't know. It, it kind of like brings it down when you got Ant Man coming right after. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just had one of the biggest climatic Marvel crossovers, right. and then after that, you're gonna have Ant Man and Wasp. This yeah. shit better connect to the <laughs> Infinity War, like or something, that is like. Rough, well, because they they because they they mentioned them in the film, like where what happened to Ant Man and what happened to Hawkeye? Hawkeye? They, they, yeah, they, they both. Uh, yeah, where the fuck was Hawkeye? The real shit. You know, they, they, that's that's who they family. asked about. He never left. Oh he yeah, that's they right. They asked about both of them. Yeah. yeah. And, and then also, what happened to Korg and fucking Valkyrie in the in the ship? Oh man, you're right. What That's happened true. to them? Did, but, did, did Valkyrie dip out? Because I can I can imagine Tessa Thompson getting the fuck out just in time. Right. Yeah, she she seemed like a survivor. You know what I mean? Well, like, yeah, and they could do a flashback scene for the next one of her like, you know, backpedaling into a a, a <laughs> pod or something. Getting yeah. the fuck out yeah. of there. Yeah, slowly moving backwards out. You now, never know. I mean, I don't know if you guys may have more information on this than I do, but. I think it would be really interesting if the Marvel movies that come out after this point, like, you know, uh, Ant-Man and Wasp or whatever, if they make sure to tie it in. You know, it's not like a solo story, uh-huh. but, like, every every plot, the, the fact that this thing just happened with Thanos is involved in every single plot. Do you think that that's something that's probably going to happen? Like some like they like pieces to connect to the next to the next movie for next year, right? Yeah, like so that we have a continuous universe. Like in the Ant Man and Wasp movie, okay, the movie's gonna be about you know about the mom or whatever, but mm. is the fact that Thanos just the way you know erased half of the galaxy going to be a thing? You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be addressed. Is it gonna you know? This yeah. Has to be the central plot point, but it should be something that runs through. Don't make me go to the theaters and have to jump back in time. 
in my we, mind. We, okay. That's where probably what it looks like is going to be back in history, like going like yeah. flashback yeah. movies that we're probably going to get because right, it's right. like it's or I mean if because I mean if they really push it's like okay there's shit going on, um and you know Ant Man and the Wasp is there but it's like oh fuck where are the other superheroes like. You know what I'm saying? That's like true. they put them, like you said. I mean, we, we don't have that many now. Shit, it's only yeah. a small group amount because everybody's. I can't believe they took Spider Man, bro. Yeah, that's what a lot of people <laughs> say. They tried, they tried to make you cry in the theater, bro. Yeah. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie because Tom Holland played the shit out of that part. Yeah, he's he like, did. he's like, I don't want to go. <laughs> you don't want to go. I'm like, it's like, oh. I'm like, it kind of makes you think like. Maybe it was a real reaction that they told him in the back office, like, yeah, you're not going to come back after this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. I, yeah. do I want to be Spider-Man you know, forever. No. Damn, dude. No, 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 no. They, 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 told him, they told him Sony wants the rights back. <laughs> said, right. Oh <laughs> no. That no. should be a meme. The, 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 contract is, the contract has ended. <laughs> that should be a meme. <laughs> Um, that but, would be hilarious. But the, good, but the good, good point about what, um, what Mark brought up earlier is about the people, the selective people who passed away, who've been or, disintegrated, yeah, and who became non-existent, became okay. non-existent. Yeah. And I'll, I'll pass this to Marco, and he can tell the rest of the details. Well, I, but just, I thought it was very interesting. I never thought about it. I, I just felt I know, that I, I saw it. I just said the the people, like I said, the people who got disintegrated were the basically the newer Avengers or the newer people who got introduced to the latter stages of this universe. You know, uh, you know, Bucky. Mm. You, because you Falcon, know, Falcon, 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 Buckley, Bucky, Spider Man, Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Black Panther, yep. Yep. You're uh, right. yep. Scarlet Witch. These are like the the newer uh, Vision, the newer Avengers. That damn near, damn near all the Guardians except Rocket. Rocket, okay. Rocket's the last Guardian out there. Yep. Yeah, and I did like his little thing he did with Bucky when they was going around just clap shooting together. And, you know, they like they had instant chemistry. Yeah, it's yeah like, how man, much for the gun? Out loud, I love that. How much for the arm? How, how much, much for the arm? arm? <laughs> yeah, he, I bet he was like, I'm gonna get that arm. Oh my god, did the arm go too? Yeah, yeah. the arm yeah. 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 arm's gone. Oh, oh, cause see, I'm just waiting for for Rock to be like, man, it's a shame he's gone, but I'm gonna get that arm. Like, I said, I'm <laughs> <gonna> <laughs> it is, is everything disintegrated except for his so arm. So I feel, I feel like Avengers Four. I think they're gonna play a more pivotal role. And I think they're going to be the new kickoff of the new Avengers, along with Captain Marvel, because you know maybe to, maybe it, it's up to the original OGs if they want to keep this keep the party going or not. Yeah, that is crazy. Now, let me understand this, guys, because I didn't really understand the Captain Marvel thing. Like I know that they brought her in, but I'm looking at her power, and I'm a little familiar with the character, but not much. I'm like, what can she do? Why is she the go-to when the world goes? Well, down? she's a cosmic being for one. Yeah. So she she's a cosmic being, and she was a. Uh, I think well, I don't I don't know too much about her, but I know she's half human and she was uh, injected with Cree DNA, oh, which is okay. um, yeah. which is what uh, who uh, who's Cree uh, Ronan the Accuser, from yeah. the first Guardian of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you know he and, and Ronan the Accuser he was he was able to hold the the wield the Power Stone mm-hmm. because you right. got to remember that gauntlet that Thanos had was specially made for you to hold all those stones, hold that power. Like, if you're in a, like, Red Skull, you try to grab the fucking Tesseract by your hand, you're going to disintegrate. Mm-hmm. But he went to another place, you know, to a whole other planet. So you can't just grab the fucking stone with your bare fucking hands and you're going you're gonna to die. Mm-hmm. Right. Because <laughs> you, 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 know you notice that Dr. Strange, he wasn't holding it. That shit was floating. <laughs> yeah. Right he didn't touch that, that shit. <laughs> it's, he know better. Yeah. It's interesting that you bring up the Red Skull because... You, I don't know, it made me ask question like why did the, the Tesseract sp- slash Space Stone send them to guard the Soul Stone? You know, mm. it kind of mm. made me want to like read some stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no. And, and at first, point. and at first, I thought that was Hugo Weaving, but if it wasn't, it was yeah. another actor who does a great impression. I could live with that. Oh, you Bring were, Red Skull back, please. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yes, also please. too, if you want to conclude Gamora to the list of black people like gone to as well. Oh yeah, Zoe Sandala. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> Zoe Sandala. Well, and she's green, well, so well, she, she's not black and man. Green, I, so. I know it's a little <laughs> off topic, but that woman looks good in any color. Yeah, uh, hey, real <laughs> shit. I, then you yeah. can make that. You can make her green. <laughs> you can make her green, purple, pink, <laughs> yellow, <laughs> yellow. <laughs> She looks amazing in either color, and not many women I'll, can pull that off. Girl, I'll, I'll, I'll get you any color. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. just don't go Sammy Sosa on me. Then I might, uh, I don't know about that. Man, and you know what's so bad about Sammy Sosa? He didn't even look white. He looked at like, 
like like he Count jealousy. Dracula. Like I don't know. It just didn't, it didn't look he like looked weird he as fuck, bad. dude. He, he look, looked bad. He looked like Teddy Perkins. That's what he looked like. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Man. Man. Aladdin reference to all you dumb scrolls out there. <laughs> Hell here. <laughs> Oh, Sammy Teddy Sosa. Perkins. You're going to continue to get this work because you hate yourself. Damn it. Uh, Which is so sad. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> Hey. You, you're the hero, Sammy. Okay. <laughs> so now, it's up, now Marco is up to you now. So what were some of the things that you were disappointed about? The, the, the one, like I said. We're doing all the bad shit right Like, now, like so. I already said, the one thing I was disappointed in, I didn't get to see Mistress Death. But I understand why, because for the Soul Stone, it was like an arbitrage, like for, for a soul, for a soul. And if he was just doing this to uh, win the affection of Mistress Death, him killing Gamora would have hold less weight. Yeah. So yeah. in order for yeah. for that to hold more weight, you know, I understand why they didn't have Mistress Death. It's just the comic geek in me wanted to see Mistress Death. Me too. I being wanted the, to see Being the real catalyst and the cause for his War, you know, for him, for his destruction of the universe, instead of just it's finding that. a way. Though, oh, I need to balance it out because all these motherfuckers in this universe and it's too crowded. And I personally feel that they're saving her once this uh, big, for big merger. Oh, the happens. big merger, so they can do like a Thanos and Deadpool, trying to, <laughs> yeah, trying Bailing to out for Mister Death. Death. Oh boy. Okay. Because <laughs> that's big in the comics. So. Oh man. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. Uh, so, uh, so, I mean, like you said, like it it, t- it would take away from the power of it, right? Like Thanos is such a huge villain. It helps the audience if he ha- if we have one focal point for what he's doing yeah. in each installment. You know? Yeah, it makes it easier to follow. Yeah, right. it doesn't yeah. Bring no confusion. So, um, and w- was there anything you were disappointed as far as the movie too as well for you, when you watched it? Anything that you didn't like as well? I don't know if you heard me. Uh, was that for me or yeah, that's yeah, for you. you. Okay. okay, you hear me good. Okay. Um, you know what? Honestly, I I would say like the, I kind of have to agree with Emizi. Like the, the biggest thing was the Hulk thing to me. <laughs> like that fight back. It just seems so out of character. And yeah. So like punk mode. Like yeah. I'm like you are the Hulk. Yeah, man. When does Bruce Banner have more balls than the Hulk? I'm saying I mean, like, <laughs> that's a good question. But literally, like his thing should be like coconuts. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't want to come out and fight. And I mean, not just around Thanos, but in general, the Hulk like peaced out. He got he got knocked out one time. He was like, "No, nah, I'm done." He didn't want to fight. Okay. He didn't want to fight none of the minions. He didn't want to fight the Black Dwarf. He when he saw that ship, he was like, "Man, I don't know what this is about. I don't want no fight with any of he them." Want none see, of that, see, that's why you gotta give Thor props. He got his ass whooped by Thanos that we didn't see. Yeah, he yeah. got living, but he came back with that fucking hammer. Oh, or the axe. Right. Oh, with the storm. Axe, with the hammer. no, no. But this is called the stormbreaker. Storm half, the half axe, half hammer. Yeah. And that is usually uh, with Better Ray Bill's uh, mm-hmm. fucking hammer. But yep. I don't think we're gonna see Better Ray Bill. Uh, for those who don't know, it's the horse face <laughs> alien mm-hmm. who's also uh, worthy of. Uh, I mean, ultimate million. Ultimate Thor has Mjolnir. somewhat of a hammer like and that, and that's what he came out looking like. Yeah. He yeah, came yeah, out when ultimate. he came back. He looked like Ultimate Hor- Hulk, not Hulk, uh, Thor. Thor. Yeah, he came yeah. out looking like Ultimate Thor. And I was like, oh shit. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it in, in uh, live yeah. action. Um, okay, what do you guys feel about you know the whole Th- Vision and Scarlet Witch situation? Because it's, it's I the think future of us. <laughs> 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 On some black mirror shit. Yeah, everybody man. Yeah, everybody fucking getting with robots and shit. <laughs> yeah, I was like I, a I witch and a robot. Like, mm, you know, watch, exactly. watch it to a bar. Like, yes, you find love where you can find it. Right. But on yeah. the other hand, I mean, like we saw that coming. You know, we we they led up to it a little bit before. Oh, we knew that since Age of Ultron. The nigga got the mind yeah. stone in his hand. What? Oh, yeah. Thanos yeah. ripping his but, head off. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just like, I'll take that, I please. Know, like, I feel like they're they're like they they just became irrational lovers. You know what I'm saying? Like they were like the Romeo and Juliet of the film. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, and to me, it kind of took away from the film because I understand that they're in love. But first of all, I mean, he's supposed to be. Extremely intelligent, tactical. Well, well, if you look at it how, like how you explained earlier about people, you know, reacting off their anger, it can also mm. be said about them reacting off their passion that's for that. each other. Yep, that's true as well. That's true. That is very true because I mean, she didn't want to kill the vision. But I'm like, bitch, you say you want to be selfish and not save millions and millions and billions even, of lives. Even beforehand, after the events of Civil War, mm-hmm. I guess they patched things up, and he just went low profile. He turned his 
uh, online. He t- he turned his um you know his locator his, his off. Locator off. And yeah. you know he just wanted to live a normal people life and live a normal life as possible with you know two, honestly two of the two of the most powerful Avengers in there and it, it was kind of sad to see them struggle against um uh, Proxima Midnight and Corne- Cornavius Clean, mm-hmm. seeing them uh mm-hmm. uh but the thing was man, the, the Black Order motherfuckers they're so sneaky man because. Cornelius Clean came out of nowhere and stabbed the vision with like yeah, no yeah. problem. Like they can't, there was Sneak no there was finest. no forewarning, no nothing, no ship in like the air. Like he passed no, through all the Wakanda up, guards and shit. Like he just walked in and he saw. No, I'm was, talking about in the in the beginning when they were in Scotland. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like yeah. that first time he struck him. Oh, the yeah. first time he struck him. Okay. Yeah, that, it yeah. came out. Well, shit. I mean, fuck. He even in in the in the damn thing. I, like how he went through all that Wakanda, all through that shit through Wakanda, and he and nobody detected that shit. That is amazing. Yeah. Man. Like, yeah, like, only thing we see a guard like, huh? And then he just got hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, made, that did start. make sense too. How he how he snuck into the uh, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's, a, he's a sneaky motherfucker, man. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> he snuck into Wakanda. You snuck into the Wakanda, like shit like that. Why shit going down? Like secure. Yeah. A lot of people don't go yeah. in there. My, my thing about Vision though is uh-huh. Sherry's gonna fix him. Yeah. yeah, I honestly feel like yeah. Sherry's gonna fix him because you know she was working on separating him from the. They, from the they got she didn't discard. Oh my god, she would have discarded. We're I mean, all man, his whole his whole headpiece got crushed in. I mean, yeah. I'm nigga, just it, him, nigga but... it looked like Thanos was taking a chocolate chip from the top of a cookie. <laughs> 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 a soft one too. A soft yes, <laughs> a real doughy one. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, <laughs> left a big ass dent. <laughs> he left a big ass dent on. And his girl turned into like dust. Rude. Yeah, because, like, you know, normally when Thanos kills somebody, he's like, oh, he got a grimace on his face. He did a, like, he just was like, oh, there you go. And, and he tossed his shit. <laughs> he tossed yes, he his did. Yeah. Like, he, he was yeah. not the, like, boom. He tossed yeah. him like he was the rapper. Yeah. Like he opened up something <laughs> and then he tossed it. Like he, <laughs> he, he was like one of those rich, spoiled kids looking for the Willy Wonka golden ticket. He's like, fuck it, ain't in here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 or trying to get a decoder ring out of a cereal box. <laughs> throw, throw all the cereal away. And oh, shit. man. I was like, I, I haven't seen anybody. He look threw so like, a for, so like a fortune <laughs> cookie. <laughs> man, <laughs> get get the message and throw the cookie away. <laughs> all right. So how do you guys feel about the uh, team up with like Thor meeting the the Guardians of the Galaxy? Did you guys like that uh, yeah, dynamic? That was, that was pretty it made sense. It to is. me, it, it made sense. Yeah, but yeah. It, it's it's so funny how I'm like that's it's funny that they caught him out of all them bodies that were all outside in the space. Thor had to land it on their spaceship. Hey man, he's the son of Odin, man. Yeah, <laughs> man, man, man. Odin's come son. on, B. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. Oh, right? shut up! <laughs> that, you got you got you got chop that up to what a coincidence! You got you got to give that up to <laughs> destiny. What a coincidence! Yeah. Fate and destiny, brother. Man, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah, fuck all that. That's and, a real, and, that's some and bullshit. And you got to give it up to Rocket, man. Rocket and Thor made good friends because, like, nigga, you gave me a new eye. Yeah, right. like yeah. you're a friend of me, homie. I ain't got to look like nah. the white Nick Fury anymore. No, <laughs> <laughs> Rocket was like, I gotta wash it first because to get it out, I had to sneak it up my. And I was like, oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he, so Thor has a shitty eye socket. Yes, he does. Yeah. Yes, he does. <laughs> I guess it's better than no eye socket. Hey, if you look like, 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 why you smell right now? <laughs> Somebody yeah. give him some vice. Yeah. yeah, some yeah. clear eyes. Some <laughs> try clear eyes. And then, and then you got Teen Group. Just playing the video games all damn day. The universe is just on like the fucking kid. line, and he's gonna play video games. He like did not a, care. He had no no care in the world. He's like, eh, just another day. Yeah, until right, you saw that right. hammer, he's like, you like, know what? Oh, uh, no, I was going to say that. I feel like the um, the only thing that was forced about the whole interaction was Gamora going for uh, Thor like that. Like, I mean, she didn't even, it didn't even play that way on screen. But the way that Quill was, like, you know, worried about her just because she was describing him, like, I just felt like that was kind of forced that even yeah. that tension would be there because it just, it just doesn't fit her character. Yeah, and then they finally kissed Peter Quill and yeah. yeah and kissed. I mean, that was cool. I was like, all right. Yeah, they finally yeah, get. Yeah. They finally got that but out the way. It, but it also told you, show you too how like how bad like Gamora is. Like she fires that. That bitch is no joke. She will find us. She's the best bitch in the galaxy. Like she's yeah, no yeah, hands yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, no, no. Like nobody can fuck with her at all. Gamora is the ride or die. Like, yeah, she, exactly. She, she, I mean, even though it was a fake and, thing, it was like, damn. He's like, that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even it was a fake one. <laughs> You know that that tell you like how badass she is, dude. So. She she had my respect when she uh, picked up that big ass machine gun 
mm-hmm. by herself in oh, Guardians, Guardians of Galaxy 2. Yeah. I was like, damn, she's fucking strong. But, I mean, I got to remember, like, she's an alien. The same thing about yeah. Drax and even Valkyrie. Valkyrie picked up a big-ass cannon like it wasn't nothing. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I got to yeah. remember, like, these these alien figures are a lot stronger than these Earthbound heroes. Now, right. And, I have to, and that them seeing, showing their display of strength gives me a reminder of, like, oh, yeah, they're not Earthbound they're, they're heroes. They're not Earthbound, yeah. You know, these are, like, cosmic beings. Yeah. And, and, you know, the gravity is a lot different. Unless and, you're talking you know, about, you know, like, the Black Panther or Captain America yeah. and his steroids. Oh, right. Yeah. right. Yeah, the enhanced The answer. The enhanced you know. humans, you know. But even then, the they're supplement. stronger they're stronger than the enhanced humans. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But they but they've hand. done some magnificent stuff. Captain America flipped over his bike and threw it at some motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> was that dope? I was like, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. That shit that is shit some, was some alien ass shit, if you ask me. And, nah. and, and tell me why when uh uh when they were walk, they were about to do the um the scene, the the big war scene, you know, uh, T'Challa's leading the way, and then you see Captain America running fast too. Yeah, these motherfuckers, because you know they both run fast for humans. They run like at least fifty miles per hour. They're a fucking cheetah, basically. Yeah, <laughs> now, I was and, like, they look like two like race cars. Like, yeah, like, motorbikes and then you know, after and then Black Panther. I mean, uh, yeah, and then Black Panther took down that rhino in his movie. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, That's, he took down the rhino. Yeah. We can't do that shit. Yeah, take <laughs> <laughs> down no yeah. fucking rhino. <laughs> Man. Man, you know what though? I mean, I speaking of Cap, I really liked his character. Like, I really like Dark Cap. I don't know if, if that's what they call him, but that's what I'm that, talking about, right? Yeah, like Nomad kind of almost. Yeah. Like oh, he was a whole, he was a, it was a different guy. He grew a beard. Tell, he was, he's been changed. He yeah. said he, he did. Oh yeah. man, when he talked he to that said, general, and I, oh and my I god. Quote. <laughs> oh man, this was got that's what got me. I was like, oh shit. Like, Woo. <laughs> yeah, well, go, go ahead, go ahead, Mark, go ahead, Marco. I mean, he said, Mark, I'm not dude. looking for forgiveness, and I'm way past asking for permission. permission. God like, oh, damn. Oh, oh, oh. He was about and that he said, life. If you stand in our way, we will fight you. And I was we'll like, fuck you up. Captain yeah, Kevin. Kevin, yeah, yeah, I'm like, in whoa. The, in the comic but books, <laughs> right, in the comic books, one of his lines that had me really fucking with him was, I fight for my country, not for my government. Mm. I was like, mm. That's deep. I fucked with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had the shirt ready. Yeah, Cap, Cap, Cap was like Drake. No, n- nothing was the same after <laughs> Civil War. <laughs> you know, think about Actually, it. nothing uh, was the same after Civil War. Like I shit mean, changed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, actually, before Civil War. Winter Soldier? Winter Soldier. It was starting. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it was starting. It was starting. That's, that's, when, that's, they, that's when it sparked kind of began. Yeah, but Bucky's like, he's telling Bucky, uh, complete the mission. Hey, man, but I'm blaming. Like, dude, that's like the only fucking friend he had. Everybody's pretty much dead. Yeah. That's really yeah, hilarious. Because right? S.H.I.E.L.D. got inf- infiltrated by Hydra. Yeah. So, yeah. Kind of made I'm him question no. his government. Because you can't blame him because, like, yeah. he got fucking, you know, you know, manipulated. Hey, and hey, stuff. Everybody, everybody need a friend like Cap and a girl like Amora. That's all I'm saying. Okay? Oh, yeah. Cap, you were evil. You were literally evil. And Cap's like, no, I got this, guys. Like, <laughs> <he's evil again."> <laughs> Right. <laughs> and, and you know what? And I got I to gotta give Star-Lord, even though he fucked up, I got to give him some props on how he handles Tony and, and Spider-Man. Uh, with his alien technology, how he used the magnet and got Tony stuck into the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he, oh, yeah, yeah, And, yeah, and yeah. he kind of had Spider-Man strong arm, like, with one hand, like, old man strength. Like, Spider-Man ain't <laughs> no... Man and, 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 and Spider-Man ain't no little wimp, dude. Spider-Man's strong as fuck. I'm like, dude, yeah, how, yeah, then yeah, I'm well, thinking to myself, how, how strong is fucking Star-Lord? You know well, what I'm saying? Right. he is half, half human. human. So... Okay, so what happens with that, right? Because, like, the celestial... Yeah, he's half human and half died, celestial. Right? He's yeah. half celestial, so yeah, he still he even matches his powers, but he can he can do some shit because they said <laughs> he said how I know that you're the celestial because when you held when you held that stone, you yeah. didn't disgrace it. He you said, didn't die. That's how I, somebody then that that's how I found you. He oh, said no they, other person would have done that. Back somehow, or are those gone for real? For real? Oh, the stones. No, no, no. Oh no, his uh, powers and oh, stuff. Powers? From, from, yeah, from celestial, celestial. Um, I don't know. I think it's just still I be there. It. I doubt it's still there. I mean, he will. But then again, it sucks now because he got disintegrated. So now, like that, right, that right, sucks. Right. Kind of for yeah, him. he could have. That could have helped out a lot, though. But I mean, you know, he still yeah. he 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 didn't really learn his like his powers, you know, for, until yeah. the movie like that. So, I mean, he he kind of he kind of knows, but he doesn't know how to 
ma- mastery. That, you know? Like before he met his dad, that that fucking planet. Yeah, he never knew. That. He, 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 he held that stone. Yeah. So he had some type of strength, you know. Yeah. Some type of. But power. he didn't. Yeah. Like he said, didn't know what it was. Like I said, so. you gotta have. You have to be a special type of person to hold a fucking affinity stone with your bare hands. Mm-hmm. You don't see Thanos okay. trying to grab it with his bare hands. Yeah, Thanos is smart. I yeah. mean, he, Peter Quill is no, no, the only dude. He, like he, you know, he's able to touch it for a little bit and put it right on the on the gauntlet. Yeah, I mean that's a yeah. Peter Quill, but he held that shit what for a while. Yeah, yeah, for a while. For yeah. a while. Yeah, right. like so, and also too, I mean, I hope yeah. I, I know you guys got the about uh, the end of Guardians of the Galaxy two. Um, when do you remember the the end credits for Guardians of the Galaxy two? Of uh, the end credits, yeah. Remember that orange woman of the the cream? The oh, the Adam Warlock yeah. stuck in the cocoon. Yep. But he's not going to come out until Volume Three. Oh, really? Yeah. That James Gunn already said Adam Warlock is exclusively for uh, Guardians Three. Oh shit! Because that could have yeah, that could have helped out. So it, far in advance. Yeah, that 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 could no, I could have helped out in the, the the next chapter. Man. Yeah. Definitely. Because that's one of only few motherfuckers who can actually stand tall with Thanos at this point. Because uh, they okay. look, they're looking at Captain Marvel to do it, so yeah, he's gonna she's gonna take the part of Adam Warlock in it, uh, and, and and you got to remember, uh, uh, Nebula is still around, alive and kicking it, so she might be able to take the stone, the gauntlet away from Thanos and start doing some fucked up shit to well, that's to a, him, yeah. Like she she, she provides so. the info because I mean that's her dad and shit, yeah. so yeah, that I'm mean, hoping that anybody needs counseling, Nebula does. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> poor Nebula. Bruh. Yeah. She she but but you know what like, you know what sucks right you know what sucks though because a lot of people don't know that Drax actually in the comics he was built to destroy Thanos. That was his oh, whole really? yeah, yeah yes. that's real shit. Yeah. Oh, in the cinematic universe that. they dwarf they they nerfed him mm-hmm. like to the point that he could even handle Ronan the Accuser. I was like, what yeah, the fuck? he's built. Yeah, he basically he was created to kill Thanos. Yeah, not really. Marvel out here nerfing characters. They man. nerf, they nerf the <laughs> yeah. shit out of him. Yeah, he's man. not. They really like, oh, he's just a big dude but, with some blades, and he. But can did not you know who they didn't nerf? Who? Stan Lee. <laughs> How you gonna be a ninety-five-year-old man driving a school bus? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> man, I love Stan's cameo. Hey, honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> Stan does a lot of stuff at ninety-five that I'm <laughs> impressed by. <laughs> right, right, right. Hey, shout out to him. He went to the strip club, so. <laughs> I mean, they, you know what, though? They had him on point for Thor Ragnarok when he gave Thor his haircut. <laughs> was, yeah. Hey, man. Stanley out here living his best life. Okay? Yeah. Hey, can't be mad at that. So how do you guys feel about some of the references uh, in the movie? You know, they have Star-Lord. He called Thanos Grimace. Grimace. Nutsack chin. <laughs> Nutsack chin. Yeah. Oh, man. He called, uh, you know, uh, what's that? Uh, Groove's playing uh, Arcade Defender. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think Star Lord was listening to. Let me go up. He he was using Zoom. Oh, some some that's phone me, me. Uh, Let me uh, scroll up because I know it was there somewhere. Uh, yeah, he was bumping uh, the rubber band man, the spinners. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, was he? I yeah. Missed that. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Yeah, Squidward. <laughs> yeah, he called uh, Ebony Ma Squidward. That's right. Got that. Definitely. Uh, you know, Bucky Barnes being called White Wolf. Yeah, that, that got on my not, nerves. Yeah, even though he's not the real White Wolf. Because that's a totally separate character. Okay. Explain uh, that for me because I missed that. What, uh, I think White Wolf is like the stepson. White Wolf's the stepson of, of Ch- 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 T'Chaka. He yeah. was T'Challa's oh. stepbrother. Yeah. He's white in, you know, in Wakanda. He was know? a colonizer in Wakanda. Yeah. <laughs> You know, he grew okay. up learning, learning everything Wakandan, and he became the White Wolf, basically the white version of the Black Panther. And he had like a suit and all that stuff. Yep, and wow. he had and he had his own like soldiers and everything, and they dressed up okay. like that too. Man, I'm gonna have to get back on my comic game with the Black Panther because there's just so much history there. And then uh, Spider-Man also uh, naming the alien last last movie he was uh, talking about. And this big crossover was uh, Star Wars. Now he's talking to Alien, getting Ebony Ma out of there. That's true. That was true. That, that shit was, was funny. That, I mean, Spider Man was some nice comic relief, for real. How do you d- did you like his Iron Spider suit? Even though it didn't look exactly like the one in the Civil War. It comics looks good. It looks good to me. I, I like yeah, it. I thought, yeah. I it was dope. They still yeah, kept the con- they, they still kept the concept, the yeah. colors and everything like yeah. that of the original suit, and then they and add that stuff with the the tech the, technological stuff. The technological from the Civil War. Yeah, it, it looks great though because I mean it would kind of make confuse some. Um, I mean everyone will see the the red and gold 
uh, suit and everything. But that I, that I thought that was fine. It was it looks it looks pretty cool. And I really enjoyed the way that they um, showed visually how the suit, like that new way that the suits come on, you know, like those, like the, the nanoparticles or whatever those things are, yeah. kind of like assemble it on your skin. I just think that's the dopest thing. And I know that, like, in the when I was in the theater, you could hear people go, "Oh, ah, oh," you know what I'm saying? Like when the suits come on. Yeah. And I think little things like that are like that's just fun for the audience. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. in yeah. addition to the story and the plot, we go to see that little fun stuff. And I feel honestly, I feel like that's part of what without stepping on people's toes, I feel like that's what DC is lacking sometimes. Like, it's like those, those little things that keep people just going, oh, that was fun. That was cool. Yeah. And then to do with the story. That's just fun. Yeah, because if you look at both uh, transformations, quote unquote, like Tony Stark walking up, taking his glasses off as his suit just covers yeah. him up. The nano that shit looks so iconic. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and, then P- and then Peter Parker, when he was falling and the suit was covering up, and he bounced off the off the ship a little bit yeah you know it wasn't it wasn't the most graceful land but when he landed right. and stood up that mm. shit looked so heroic man yes, it oh. did. i was like man put that music behind that man right <laughs> it's like if you pause that one scene and, and like screenshot it it looks like a poster like some fly shit oh yeah exactly I, and yeah, I, we, I mean you know you need that yeah I, I forgot to mention too as well i was gonna ask you guys didn't like uh tony start make the best suit ever made mind you that he got his suit on right when the thing started. He went in the ship. He never went back home. So all that shit that you saw within the entire movie, that was on one suit. Oh, yeah. I think that was his That was suit. amazing. Deep. That is that. amazing. Yeah. yeah even, he never went home. Even when I saw it, wow. like, <laughs> even when I saw, like, the the the, the, the rendering, the, 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 was it, the concept art of it, mm-hmm. I was like, this has to be his best suit. That's like the best design suit, yeah. line, like this is his best suit yet. Yeah. And you look at all the stuff that he had. Like he had a shield, he had a sword, he had boosters underneath and like to to go up. Like he had so much stuff. Yeah, like, and he that one suit. He like, volu- like, like he was yeah. ready for he, that he, shit. He voluntarily put the arc reactor back in his chest, even though he doesn't need it. That's so. That's true. That's right. That was a plot point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So maybe he felt yeah. like maybe some shit was really about to go down anyway. Yeah. And he just wanted to stay ready. He stayed ready like 24-7. He said, I've been going to stand on his name since or six years. Because <laughs> like, remember, uh, Scarlet Witch put that in his head since uh, Age of Ultron. Remember the premonition mm-hmm. in his head? Like all the, all his friends were dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, no little Uzi though. Uh, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> so... You know it's funny, like with the with the movie coming out and everything, and you know people, I, like if y'all listen to this, and you haven't seen the film yet, do not go on social media, please, just don't. Okay, it's dangerous out there. Nah, I just say fuck them. I mean, they haven't seen the movie during the weekend. It's their fucking fault because this is such a good movie that not many Actually, people are gonna hold it. Just, yeah. but, 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 but you need to permission the spoilers on there just in case. Yeah, I'm going to say, like, if you got to this point in the podcast, it's too late already. Man, but- pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's your damn fault. But I have never seen so many people universally, like, express the same emotion towards the film. <laughs> like, everybody, for people who aren't superhero fans, people who are diehard superhero fans, are like, what just happened? Right. Why did you hurt my feelings like this? Like, everybody had the same reaction. I'm yeah. like, that's powerful. Yeah, you well, got to give Disney yeah. and Marvel props for that because they they found a medium for where people that aren't well versed in the comic book stuff could, could watch a story. You know, just from a blank yes. canvas and get the same feelings that we have as comic book fans. Yeah, you're right. You're and right. and that's crazy too because they say they only they, when they did the premiere they didn't do like anything you know weeks or months before they did world premiere. They said this is the first time we see it, and they put a, a like a note to all the fans like, hey, don't go on any even social media site or anything. If you want to get the thing, watch the movie. You know, before you go on any social media, because you might say there might be some spoilers, and we're not, you know, responsible for that. So, you know, okay. Yeah, I mean, a job well done, Marvel. A yeah, job they well kept done. that shit. Yeah, definitely. Intact. But, you know, I will say, you know, even though people like to bash DC, I do want to give DC credit for being so damn dark. All the dark movies that I watched, and when I watched this, I'm like, eh. Shit happens. <laughs> it helped yeah, me build the callus. He goes all the way dark, man. <laughs> it, it, it built a callus for me. Everybody like, oh, they're crying. I'm sitting here like, yo, Spider Man got a confirmed sequel. Like, you, you know what's funny? Black though? Panther got a confirmed <laughs> right, sequel. Right, like, right. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah. Me and you, we, we kept <laughs> like, looking over like, come on, man. Like, what the fuck, y'all niggas crying for? But you know what though? 
I, I get it. Like for them, Marvel has their characters have been so much lighter, than and, DC. and and they never really die. Yeah, so they, to there was see no this, really con- no real woof, consequences. To see this to the extreme, yeah, this there, is crazy. Yeah, there was no real. Okay, there was like no real consequences of to uh to what happens. So and and we talking about yeah. ten years, <laughs> and it took ten really, years of this, of building up <laughs> to this point. Um, I was I was watching this uh this thing on um villains right and mm-hmm. how you build a great villain, and one of the things that you do is that everybody knows that internally like things that go around come around karma right. Yes. What makes a great villain is that is a villain who somehow every single time evades the repercussions. You know what I'm saying? They evade their karma or one of their minions pays for them. And you're like, how does this guy keep getting away with this? He's still alive. He's still up. And I feel like it was the opposite with this movie. The heroes, all the karma from all those bullets that for some reason just never hit them. You know what I'm saying? All that <laughs> stuff came to rue in one film and the audience wasn't ready. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what they were expecting. I was ready for all this shit to happen. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I was ready for yeah. some shit to go down. Yeah. I was like, like, I was like, okay, one person's gonna die, maybe. All right, no, no, I know one person's gonna die, maybe two, right? Nah, right? I was like, couple, nah, it's gonna I, be I more felt like than a couple that. people's gonna go. <laughs> and then also, and, and, and oh, go ahead. No, no, I just, and also like, I you gotta remember, Marvel's on this Pharrell shit. No one ever really dies, so I'm pretty sure that. You know, people are gonna be wish back, brought back to life. Oh, now, of course, wh- now, of now, Avengers four, that one is gonna have me on the edge of my seat because that one I know that's when shit's gonna change forever. Affinity War is like the 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 Empire Strikes Back of comic book movies. Yeah. All right. Or Days of Future Past, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's like a out of time. Well, out you of time. know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, it yeah. changed the whole yeah. like narrative. It, it changes yeah. the narrative. So like part four, that's when I know like okay. Niggas contracts are up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this oh, is man. this when shit is like, yeah. it's really gonna be over. That's when I, Infinity War. I was like, okay, that's a cool introduction to for what's to come for Avengers Four when shit like really goes down. So I would like. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy the movie. I'm shit. I might might watch it right after this podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's we good. also it's good. we forgot to mention Scarlet Witch. She dissolved too. <laughs> Oh yeah, Scarlet Witch, she dissolved. Uh, but uh, yeah. what if, basically, the characters that dissolved in this one, end up becoming the new heroes and new and, and the heroes that stayed are, are, are going to be the ones that's going go. like literally yeah. through the movie. Like yeah, I, I feel that that could be a possibility. Uh, like a big trade off. Yeah, and well, you, got- you know what? Now that you mentioned that, the ones who stayed were like the ones who, like you said, they've been around forever. You yeah, know, yeah. Like Robert Downey Juniors and. You know what I'm saying? Like, Captain America, like... And we know that their contracts are, like, close, you know? And yeah. not up. Yep. That's, yep. A good, that's a good point, man. I didn't even think about that, but you're right. Yeah, they're, they're, their contract is almost up. You know, they could extend it if they want to. You know? Yeah. They do yep. They do have leverage because people love these characters that much, and they, they will work something out for them. But, you know, as actors, and I'm pretty sure you being an actor, you know, you get, you know, mm-hmm. sometimes people... People like a steady paycheck, but at the same time, you're an artistic being, so you would want to new challenges and different roles. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. I know a lot of actors. Uh, you know, that's that's the problem when they face with movie, a uh, franchise movies like this. Yeah, and I, but you know, like like you said, like one, they want to play new roles, but on the on the flip side of that, um, sometimes you get an audience response. And it energizes you to do that character one more time. You know what I mean? Like to get them just a little bit more. Oh and yeah. So I, I think that's what what happened with um Hugh with Jackman. Logan. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like with Hugh Jackman, like he he was like, okay, guys, I'm done. But the love for the for the films were just so much. And he was like, man, these people just they just really love this character. All right, I'm gonna give him one more. I'm gonna give him one more. I'm gonna give him a cameo. You know what I mean? Like yeah. So. I honestly, I'm worried about Captain America though. Like, I'm really, I'm really worried about him because I feel like he, he, not, he didn't really want this to begin with. Uh, what's the guy's name? Chris man? Evans. I'm blanking out. Yes, he didn't really, he didn't want the fame like that to begin with. You know. Yeah. So, he might really be getting to the end where he's like, okay, guys, I'm ready to duck, dick out, uh, dick out, <laughs> duck out. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, sorry about that, right? <laughs> no, no, but I do, but I do like the the direction that he's going. He's more rugged. He's more like he's not too boy scoutish anymore. Like I said, That's after true. after after, after yeah, after Civil War, you know, you gotta take characters to a different direction. So, and, this character is evolving for sure. Yeah, exactly. Is this the whole point of the story arc of it? Uh, what's another point that I want to bring up in Infinity War? So much, so much the process. 
Um, what do you think is going to happen beforehand? Like, once, you know, Avengers 4 is over, um, who's going to be the next big bad for the Marvel Universe? Like, what possible yeah. other big cross ambitious crossovers can they do uh, after the Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity War? I mean, Thanos... I mean, that's huge. It's, he wiped out half the galaxy. I don't, I don't know where they're going. I mean, I know that there are villains, but like you said, which one do you choose? Or maybe, I mean, just throwing this out there, what about the new acquisitions, right? Like, yeah, yeah. The new acquisitions getting, will help out for big, yeah. big ambitious crossovers. Like, Doom, let's right. say, yeah, you get Doctor Doom, you could get Galactus, you can get, um, even though the, the scrolls are a part of Disney, so you could get your uh, secret invasion. The Kree. Oh, you can get Secret Invasion, the Kree, the Kree and the Skull uh, War. Yep. Scrolls. Yeah. Super Scroll. So, yeah. I want to see Mephisto. God damn it. <laughs> it's probably going to be in like a uh, Doctor Strange movie, though. Yeah, pretty much. I would. I mean, I'd, I'd love to see it, though. And, and Doctor Strange was the MVP. Let's yes, see, he let's, was. Let's, let's, yes, he uh, was. Yeah, he was. He held his own, like, dude. <laughs> homie, he lasted longer than the Hulk, and 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 <laughs> and Thanos had more stones at that time. Yeah, that's the, four. That, that mystic power, man. That mystic power was multiplying himself, Yo. and he was pulling out all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, that that, that time stone was like the really. He did not want to get that time stone for, to save his life, dude. That was, uh, that was like important. Killing. What was that ability he did when he went? When he went like, uh, he looked like the damn the, uh, the the little I forgot. What he had like called, six, but arms six arms and shit. Like, like that's a familiar thing he does in the oh, comics. It's the oh the uh, it's, I don't really like to say transcendence, but um, it's the eye argument. Uh, he didn't use it yet. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't yeah. use it though. I forgot what the I forgot what it's called. I, I know one person who actually know that. I answered right on top of that. <laughs> um, I forgot the name of it though, but it's it was pretty. That's pretty crazy though. Yeah, like honestly, like I said, and remember, you know, Strange he he took a look of like sixteen plus million outcomes, yeah. and there was only one in their favor, and that was caused his change of heart to give because at first he wasn't gonna he was gonna let Spider Man or Tony die. He's like, yeah. I ain't giving up that time stone for shit. Right. Yeah. To his right. life, yeah. It's the reason why he didn't want to. It was, yeah, it was re- so clutch so, like like that shit because the you see because, what happened. Because he probably looked in the future, he was like, yo, in order for us to win, we do need Tony. hmm We need Man. Tony. And it, ironically he said the, the one he he's the one who started the whole MCU. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why not have him be the hero? You know, is is RDJ's world? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he helped build it. That's true. That's this. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He sparked it. Like, yeah. I mean, and nobody. I don't think anybody really knew that that was what was going to happen with that first Iron. I don't know. Yeah. Nobody did yeah. <laughs> until Nick Fury uh, did the after credits, and it was like, oh, hoping Pandora's box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, open up a whole world. <laughs> well, it'd be a good way to to walk away from the from the Marvel universe. Yeah, uh, if it's at the second one, yeah, I kind of go out like that. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. Be the, the the guy that saves the day, you know. Yeah, go on retirement, start a family, with pepper pots. But uh, yeah, yeah and get Ironheart. That's <laughs> okay. Well, get, get Riri but, Williams. But, but what <laughs> what is going to be challenging for Marvel now is once they have to reboot the whole franchise, and then they're going to feel the wrath of what DC uh, movies are going to feel. Oh, this new Iron Man ain't as good as Tony, ain't good as our DJ. Yeah, that's this, true. This Captain America is not like, you I know, mean, you got, this Captain you America. Hey, hey, I'm just saying. It sucks, but I it mean. It sucks, but that's how it is. This RDJ version ain't better, you know, this dude. I, I, I or, think. Or Chris Evans' Captain I, America is better than that guy. Or I, I, like I think this they version. should do to go around is just use the more different characters. Um, have their own stuff like that, too. Yeah. As well. And then they can make cameo appearances. Yeah. You know, in in between movies, but I think they should get like, of course, like says, like some fl- fresh blood, some new superheroes, and I don't. I mean, hell, I mean about the Guardians of the Galaxy. Nobody didn't think the fucking Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy would be part of the MCU. Like, yeah, that's true. like I'm like, who the you know Guardians of the Galaxy? Like, yeah. who the hell are they? You know what I'm saying? My, and look, my other question is, how does the effects? How does affects the Netflix people? Like how does it affect uh, <laughs> all the, the everything Jessica going on? Jones, oh, the Daredevil, because they're all connected. But I mean, easy. 
the end of their seasons, <laughs> they should do something of like watching their people around them dissolve <laughs> or they dissolve. Yeah, no, He's like people <laughs> turn this. <laughs> you know what's crazy though? Yeah. But I mean, but the only link to that is actually um, it's the what's the series? Uh, the shield, the shield. Yeah, because I'm like, they, they, should, they should apply that too. Because remember, they you know yeah. they kind of cosplay with the movies yeah. and stuff like that. So that, that, on. that so so that so should if you see a shield episode, yeah. everybody should be like in panic right now. Yeah, <laughs> should be panic mode everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Netflix and and in uh, ABC, so yeah. everybody should be panicking. Nothing definitely wasn't safe in this movie. I'll say that. Mm-mm. <laughs> it's man. not a game. No, yeah, nothing was safe. That's true. <laughs> Nothing was safe, man. People <laughs> were talking about they they were tight watching the whole movie, and, and you know it was a great movie. I like I said, I damn near want to watch it again. Yeah, I know yeah. my ass got work in the morning. I too. Yeah, it's a long half movie. Hours. It's a long at, movie. At ten o'clock, and we got out of there like one something. It was like, <laughs> Yeah, and you, and I'm pretty sure you and your wife had a long ride back, just just quiet, just trying to process everything yes. that just happened. Yeah, <laughs> man, you all have all these emotions. You're angry. You're confused. Right. <laughs> I, it, I, it, I was in it's, a better space because at least I'm more familiar with the comics. You know, and I like you said, like, oh, there's a movie coming out next year. Like, I'm already knowing these things, but still, oh, in man. the in the realm of what happened, I'm like, you. She is upset. She was yeah. like, who I need to write a letter to? Who can I curse out? Wow. Okay, because Marvel just ruined my life. Like, was, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it's it's funny, it's funny anything, how one movie had impact millions of people. Like, and that's the thing crazy. was, they were following the source material. They are. Thanos was that's just, exactly he, at the happened. end, he's just chilling. He's like, I, I fulfilled everything I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. I just want to sit down and watch the sunset. And I just want to watch, yeah, sit down, be a, far, a farmer. Yeah, and that's exactly <laughs> what happened. Smile on the face, sit down, everything's calm, it's peaceful. He, yeah, he's like, I, I did, I, he, he felt that he did what was noble for yep. the universe. Mm-hmm. He thought he was serving the greater good so right yeah he and, sacrificed you know, all his no, kids for it more to it oh go ahead man i said and he sacrificed all his kids for it yeah yeah and in the yeah. and the black order they died <laughs> yeah yeah all of them <laughs> they all died mm-hmm. Shit, black yeah, elf even really, lost his arm in the beginning of the movie mm-hmm. never grew he really it back believed in it. he believed it 100 percent. you can say oh, that man. he threw gamora for that stone he, that's that's yeah. another that's another one of his. That's know? crazy. He was on top of a mountain, then he was on the in the water. <laughs> like, how did that happen? <laughs> yeah, it was like an out of body experience. Yeah, yeah basically. He said, he basically. Like, yeah, he's some. Um, yeah, they tell me like he like he had a, he had things like yo I I turned into the world, but I still like you. <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> And yeah. throw you off like I still have things. The reason and, why you're and, still and alive she, now. And she and she was right. and she was getting in his head. She was like, "You don't love anything." Yeah. Ah ha ha! Jokes on you, motherfucker! I knew you. And he turned around with the Hurtful. tears, and he's like, "Uh oh." Like, he's when like, she said that. I was like, "Does nobody else see that it's not him going off that cliff?" Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Even Red Skull told her like, "Uh, the yeah. tears are not, not for, for him. him. <laughs> it's for you." <laughs> Yo, like for real, if that was a meme, it would be a Red Skull Kermit meme. With the teeth, like, like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> red, red skull's giving everybody all them red flags. Yeah. <laughs> red, red skull giving the warnings, like, um, he, yeah. he, it's about you. That, those, those tears aren't for him, but that's none of my business. Yeah, <laughs> right. Sips tea. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill over here. Um, you, 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 you'll figure it out. I'll, I'll be going right behind these yeah, rocks. You, you'll figure it, <laughs> you'll out. figure okay. it out. Never mind. Don't worry about and me. Don't like, worry about me. And I'm, like, I'm, I'm going this way. It's yeah. not like she could run away from him because the nigga just could pop up <laughs> because he got hey. the space stone. He just yeah. pop up like, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Man, but that's what she, she was trying to kill herself and that shit went to bubbles and I was like, uh-oh. That was yeah, that was quick man. thinking. He's like, "Fuck it," <laughs> she yeah, tried to kill herself. And they did the bubble thing. The bubbles cracked me up. Okay, the one with the gun. Okay, then they turned the bubbles when she tried to stab herself. Could have been like dust or something, but like bubbles. Yeah. I'm like, damn, Marvel. They still always trying to be a little funny. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, the first one was great. It was funny, but this is heavy. This is a heavy moment. Like, yeah. why, why the bubbles? Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I was like, yeah. honestly though, I was really mad that like. I mean, I didn't expect her to go. Wait. Like, I, I know what happens in the comics, but I just didn't expect her to go. Like, I was kind of <laughs> sad about that. I was like, but, but what about her and Star Lord? Man, <laughs> you, you know what's funny? You know they what's crazy? both gone. You know what's crazy though? It's like when she yeah. had him like go ahead and shoot her. Like he's like, cause she's told him like, you know, hey, if she captures me, kill me, like real shit. Cause he's, I know something he don't know. If that was Killmonger, he would have killed her right there. Yeah, bye, baby. <laughs> 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 right. 
And but he he, he, he watched them. But... Wait, okay, like legit. After the film was over, I'm walking out uh, with you know a couple guys, a couple girls, and we talked about Killmonger for a second because we were like, "Yo, I wonder if Killmonger was alive, how he would have been in the fight." And I was like, "But how about all the women out there who were like, Killmonger is Bay?" And I'm like, "He shot his Bay. He yeah. shot her. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mentioned that in the Black Panther episode. In the like, head. Like he shot her. Right. He he was beating up on his cousins. He's fighting the door Melage. Like this this nigga has no he he get helped nope, a woman yeah. to get poisoned. No He's heart. Like, he has no yeah. regard no for heart. women. Yeah, he no held heart. that. He held that. He chucked that lady out. He's yeah. Like, oh yeah. When I, I, when I tell you yeah. to do something, I mean that shit. Like he grabbed yeah. he grabbed the old lady by the throat, man. Yeah. I know. And I'm like he grabbed grandma for real. And I'm like, see, this, there's a lesson in here for y'all, okay? Yeah. It ain't but, about having the savage all the time. Yeah. You know. But, but, I ain't but, mad at him though. But, he on he on his fuck family shit because. <laughs> they could have yeah. came and got him, but but mention the part back then when he the the spot when he's about to shoot her and stuff like that, and he like shoot her and then he kind of hesitated and then he just threw it in bubbles. Even though it's like he they knows him the whole time, like he I'm he, he I was a, reality he, stone, so he's gonna be the bubbles. But as soon as he's like, I like him, and he teleported. He said, yeah. I like yeah, it because he's he gonna kill him. You that, I like never pull the trigger either. I yeah, like cause that because that, that whole time he was talking shit like, yeah, he why you pick him? He ain't got it in him. Yeah, I don't even you know. And I, then as soon as he he, he pulled a trigger and it bubbles and he really trying to kill her, he's like, I like him. Yeah, I feel <laughs> bad. Man, I was on Thanos' side. I was like, yeah, he ain't gonna do nothing. Look at him, he ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, <laughs> he, yeah. Pull the he's trigger. Said, me wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, when he started doing that breathing shit, <laughs> pumping yeah. himself up to do it, I was like, "Yeah, to do it, nigga. get yourself ready." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, but that's the thing about Killmonger. He didn't have to pump himself. He knew <laughs> that yeah. he was doing it for a greater yeah. good. That, that nigga did that. He was calm. Was like, be okay. <laughs> yeah, Killmonger did that shit. He was calm. He lied to said, his hey, girl baby, like nigga, everything's gonna be he okay. Told hey, her. don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, Pow. I can't believe he, he told her that shit. Everything's gonna be just fine. <laughs> yeah, and shot her but in the fucking head, yeah, like with a straight see, face. That's, like, that's what that's what shows that he was a real villain. Yeah, okay? he's he's calculating. He's like, if I if I don't show her that it's gonna be fine, she might move. Yeah, I need her to stay where she is so I can get this shot off in the right way. Right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's a calculated brother. Yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, man! So, um, as far as uh, Marvel villains, I think it looked like it's favorable for the top three villains to be. Thanos, Killmonger, and Loki. Would you guys would you guys agree, or would you add a couple of other people? Um, a couple of two more. To me, right now, I, I'll say number four. If they four, bring him back, Red number, Skull. Number four, Vulture, mm. because he was understandable too. Yeah. And number mm-hmm. five, Hella. Hella. Just for the. For That's what I was going to say. Hella was. Those if they my, bring, they those bring my, her back. Those are my top five villains in the if Marvel. They bring, if MCU. they bring him back, I would say the Red Skull too, though. I would add him. Red Skull is dope. Um, yeah, I would, I would probably he, say he, the same three as, as Marco, but the Red Skull is a, is a favorite of mine too. Mm-hmm. I like Vulture. Vulture, yeah, no, no, Vulture. No, 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 no. I totally Keaton. agree with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just yeah, add yeah. the Red Skull. You would add yeah. Red Skull on there. Yeah, I, I like, like Michael yeah, Keaton did a fucking good job with the Vulture. It's fucking Michael because I don't Keaton. like the Vulture <laughs> in the comics. Well, 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 me and Marco know the reason why we. And, we it, and it was like the funny thing, you you the MCU always have coincidence or 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 some kind of weird things that happen. Okay, yeah. you got Peter Quill, who is in love with a woman, played by a woman of African descent, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and their father is a bald-headed dude, evil dude. Mm-hmm. So you have Peter loving Gamora and Thanos being the dad, mm-hmm. and then in in Homecoming you have Peter in love with the the you know the black chick. Zendaya. Well, Michael, yeah, Zendaya. not not Zendaya. It wasn't Zendaya. It was the, the other, other girl. Yeah, the other girl. Oh yeah, the oh, other girl. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And the other girl with Michael Keaton being the bald headed evil. Dad. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is with Peters and bald headed evil dads, man. That's stupid. Damn. <laughs> yeah, what's up with Michael Keaton and playing birds? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> right, Birdman. He always played yeah. with. He always played yeah, with. Let's let's say winged. 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 winged yeah. Man, Batman, winged. Birdman, winged characters. <laughs> Hey man, sometimes you're desperate to be fly, man. That's what you do. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I like that. <laughs> Destined to be fly. Nice. Yeah, no, hey. I like I like the vulture, but I felt like, I mean, the vulture to me, he's a good, he's a great villain, he's a great character. That's yeah, what I'm he's a yeah. great character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, period. and but he and he's not he's a snitch either. Mm-mm. Yeah, and he's not yeah. a snitch. <laughs> no, no, no. You can you can sit on the prison, okay? He ain't he, he hold it down. He held yeah. it down. He was like, I know who he is. See, this is why I give Michael Keaton credit because in the comics, I'm not a fan of Vulture, but once he played the Vulture, mm-hmm. I'm a fan of Vulture. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. yeah. No, because that's what I mean. That's what everybody thought in the first reaction when the homecoming came. It's like, who's, who's villain is in homecoming? The vulture, really? Is he just gonna just fly that's around with a gun? Like, really? No, he was pretty fucking. And he done. was using he was using Shatari technology mm-hmm. yeah. from from the rubble from the invasion of New York, which was very smart how mm-hmm. uh, they implemented that. Um, and you were rooting for him, you know? A part yeah. of you was like, man, I hope you get away with this. Yeah, like, fuck yeah. Tony Stark. Get your money, yeah. nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Tony Stark got him out of there. <laughs> yeah, because Tony bullshit. Stark is not. That's what's crazy. In the comics, Tony's yeah. not always the good guy. <laughs> Tony Stark is the corporate. He was the corporate uh, evil giant that took away the little guy. Yeah, because so yeah. so Tony's kinda not always the good guy. Yeah. yeah. So it it kind of gives you a different dynamic how you look at Tony Stark you're like damn you fucking capitalist pig yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's your mess and your company's gonna clean it up <laughs> yeah. can you get I mean, more job opportunities than anyone else <laughs> God damn yeah. Tony Stark he's a man he he does a lot Tony of shit Stark's like a that motherfucking in the comics <laughs> yeah. yeah and Spider Man caught the middle you know yeah <laughs> oh yeah that's some shit <laughs> Spider Man is caught in the middle damn. Yeah, I mean, because Spider Man's not rich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He comes from meager, meager beginnings like the Vulture. Yeah. But on the mm-hmm. other hand, he looks up to Tony Stark. He understands the whole superhero calling. And, I mean, that's a hard choice. That's it's, a hard choice. You've seen the other side, man. You're in the car getting chauffeured by a happy Hogan. Yes. In the yes. in a, in a nice double R, getting dropped off of school. Your mentor's Tony Stark, who's like <laughs> a fucking billionaire. But you go back into your apartment with your aunt in Queens, struggling and shit to make ends meet. I mean, Peter Ain't got that. some that, bullshit. He, Peter got that academic scholarship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's smart. That academic scholarship. Yeah. That's a smart man. And, and both Parkers are working. May Parker, she probably <laughs> that's probably Tony's side piece. Yeah. Hey, don't and tell really probably, that, they, they, Don't they tell right Pepper. Now, don't tell Pepper Tony this. Probably, yeah, Tony probably <laughs> smashed for sure. Yeah. yeah, man, I'm like, hey Peter, don't go to no clubs, bro. Uh, <laughs> Talking yeah. about hey auntie. <laughs> oh no. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Talking for some change, bro. Like, hey. Oh no. Man. Hey auntie. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a different Spider-Man universe when they brought in the new Aunt May. Oh no! Man. So, uh, man, I know uh, we gotta get going. And uh, were any lasting impressions you guys want to say about this movie? Man, it was fantastically devastating. I'll yeah. tell you. fantastically <laughs> devastating. devastating. Well put. That, that sounds well like played. that sounds like a beat writer from like a publication, and I could see it on the trailer, like fantastically devastating. You and said today, <laughs> De- Demetrius Green or something like that. Man, that might need to happen. Fantastic. Fantastically <laughs> devastating. It was a, yeah, it was a tragedy that was necessary. <laughs> tragedy yes, that absolutely. is necessary. You all fake deep motherfuckers. Uh, what do you got, K Mark? <laughs> Shit, I mean, you, these damn. <laughs> you know, have them fly through the screen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I don't know, fuck. <laughs> That's some good ones right there. I don't know. I'm, I'm just mad because I'm beat. I don't know what to say. I'm trash right now. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's some, some really good ones. I like that. That's understandable. <laughs> I'll just I'll just say poetic injustice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't go all on right. the train. All right, K Mark, come through. Come nah, through. I can't, man. Yes, you can. Nah, yes, you can. nah, yes, I can't. Can. Homie. I, I'm I'm, I'm a fuck easy. it up. It's easy. Just just merge the good and the bad. And just go from there. <laughs> <laughs> just search your heart. No. <laughs> I can't think of anything, man. I, I'm honestly, I, I don't want to fuck it up. I mean, y'all three or three, y'all good. Well, you know what? Like, let me do this. Uh, Demetrius, question: <laughs> What did you think of the Venom trailer? This is a side thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I love the way Venom looks. Oh yeah, forget about but that. But I don't know about the film overall. I'm a little worried, bro. I'm okay. a little worried. And why are you worried? Uh, I feel like, like. Like there's like it's lacking some substance or something. Like I'm afraid they're gonna do like they did the Fantastic Four reboot. No, like, don't say that. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Not Back those words. Like, the reboot and the reboot, the trailer looked great, right? And then the movie happened, and you were like, "But, but what happened though?" And uh, I'm a little worried that I, they are gonna do that. And this is the worst part. Tom Hardy is a dope actor. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. the right material. He's gonna yeah. kill it. I don't know if they got it though. My thing is, 
like I said, as a comic book purist, I'm like, how in the fuck they're doing this without Spider Man? I just yeah, feel I feel a, Sony was I'm just being you. I think I'm, Sony yeah, it was just being disrespectful to Hell the fans and, and just trying to get a money grab. Like okay, okay Sony what, needs to stop. Because it, here's, cause here's the thing about it. If the movie is successful, what other sequels are you gonna put against Venom? You're gonna put a whole bunch of other symbiotes. That's stupid. And that's it. That's stupid. Yeah. Like, the, yeah. I, mean, what I mean, of course, the second one you want Carnage, and then after that, then what? Then what? Exactly. There's nothing yeah. else. I mean, it's like you take Mickey off the Magic Kingdom; he's just a mouse who can talk. You know what I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean like, you you could do like a uh, <laughs> me and Kim are like a, what a <laughs> anti Venom for Part Three, where he's dealing with the cancer and stuff. Another symbiote. Loses, great, loses great. Symbiote. Another symbiote. Turns, like, you know, nothing different. So we got three, all, Hey, we just talking about Venom. So. Three movies in all symbols. Well, how do you feel about it, Denise? I enjoyed the trailer, especially that they stuck with the look. You know, that, I'm, right. I'm a little worried about Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock a little bit, but uh, okay. I'm with you though. I, I am. I'm not sure about the movie in its entirety, but I'm gonna enjoy it because I'm a Venom fan. Same here. I mean, Venom is dope. That's I a, that's mean, the thing. That like yeah. you know that's everybody's child like and, fa- favorite you know anti villain is 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 Venom. Like that's our '90s um, character that we fell in love with. Even though he's a villain, like he's still he's like super cool. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 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 we had this conversation uh, off of here that I was saying like there's no way that they're gonna be able to hold off or keep. From putting Spider Man anywhere connected to this, that doesn't make any there's sense. There's no way they can do it, yeah. in no my way. opinion. You know, they're gonna have to do something. You have to put Spider Man after in there. credit scene. Something, dude. Y'all gonna have to do something. something. Yeah. A totally other Spider Man. I don't know, but yeah, you can't just do that without Spider Man, man. Right. <laughs> like, I'm yeah, just, I mean, don't get me wrong. Man. And, 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 and Venom the, has his own, you know, comics and stuff, but. Yeah, he Ooh, has Spider Man in them too. The bad part is too is like you know, and they especially they going of this dark tone, which is not going to fit really in into the MCU. MCU. Hell no, we can't. You can't have that damn Venom go with uh, Tom Holland as Peter Parker. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. Yeah. There's no, no. There's no fucking way. That I, motherfucker I, Venom I, was I, trying I, to kill I, that, I, that that kid. That, that Venom looked like he eats people. Exactly. Yes, he does. There's not fucking. <laughs> there's no it's fucking possible. way. Possible. No, it's not. It's possible. No, they gonna nerf the yep. shit out of the fucking end. It's like, you know, Venom, you can't kill him. And like that's another your thing. First like, one. is he gonna be crawling on wall? Will he be shooting web too? Or is he just gonna his right. symbiote is just gonna just stick out and latch on everything? Kind of like the ultimate, ultimate Venom. 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 That's what it looks. That's what it looks like. It's yeah. towards. It's a combination of different Venoms. I, I mean, I'm mean, for myself. I mean, I'm just thinking like I'm happy. I'm proud that there is a Venom movie, and that's like yeah. really great. That's one thing I said. Damn, I'm glad we're alive that there's a Venom movie. That is True. great. But not having your main Ven- your main um, arch enemy, and not in there, it's a bummer. Like it, ever since they announced it, like dude, that doesn't make any sense. It's kind of like when, but they, they uh, still went the green. Like Fox, like uh, Sony, like fuck it, let's keep going anyway. I mean, the same thing with Fox. Fox is going to do the Dark Phoenix. They're going to do the 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 the, the mutants, the horror <sighs> film. God. They're going to do that, and then they're going to they're going to possibly trying to do a rated R Doctor Doom movie. And I'm like. Yeah, damn it, Man. Fox. I mean, I, I understand. I, I rated R. I, I told you that. I and, told and, you. And, and I understand that, like, okay, oh like, these God. films and these film studios and these actors and film crews, they need to make their money. They need work. But it's still doing the fans the disservice, you know, yeah. of, like. I mean, Deadpool, I can understand I'm you like put an R rated right movie for that. That, Deadpool, the, that is definitely. Deadpool, the, Deadpool is the only Fox franchise I could see that could easily transition to the MCU. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Deadpool is amazing. Like. Yeah, but anything else like when R rated movie, like I don't know, like that's a that's a Doom. Okay, R rated. Ooh, like I don't know. It's just what? weird. I I'm Dr. sorry. Doctor Doom is R rated. I I know his personality but, is R rated. I think I but think, with, but say like, without the Fantastic Four, like I mean, I think with the big acquisition, I, I don't think, know if it's gonna be without the Fantastic. See, Four, that's though. the thing. Like that's yeah. you, you want to put a Doctor Doom movie, but they, didn't, they didn't say it was gonna be without the Fantastic Four though. But, but that's what like, it sounds like, like. What they're, they're alluding to. 
Yeah, so, I feel like like with the Venom movie with the Doctor Doom thing, they're I doing it like ass backwards. Trying to turn these guys into like the Punisher, or even you know? or even that, like, see now that I can send those. Or even like the well, Venom is an anti-hero. Or, or I mean, even, anti. Uh, yeah, yeah anti-hero, okay, so. that one I can understand, yeah, but, but like, Doctor Doom, guy, like, come on, dude. Part of what makes him so fun to watch is watching him in opposition to these lighter yeah. characters. You know. It's kind of like for me. It's like they're saying about that move that Joaquin Phoenix is going to play a, a one off, like off the DC EU version of the Joker, mm-hmm. like produced by Martin Scorsese and stuff like that. It sounds intriguing, but it's like, <laughs> okay, yeah. like what Joker I'm going to see? Like, is he taking on the mob? Like, is he taking on Batman? Is he like what is he doing? Like, I, right. it, like you can't just keep throwing out villain names as the protagonist. And not have the hero or someone else as an antagonist, and then for me to 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 have you know have me sold like okay like okay he's a villain so what like nigga what are you what are you gonna do with this well, yeah where where, where are we like, going where with this where are we gonna do with this you can't you can't just say oh let's make a Joker movie without Batman you can't make a you know you can't be like oh let's make a Venom movie without Spider Man let's oh let's make a, a Doctor Doom movie without. The Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. Yeah, doesn't make like, any you, sense. Like, these motherfuckers are interconnected. Like, how are you gonna make a Thanos movie? <laughs> Without <laughs> the Avengers, the Avengers or or Silver Surfer or his opposition, right? It's like yeah. these villains are defined by their opposition. The same thing about these heroes; they need each other. It's a symbiotic relationship or a genetic relationship. The only thing I would say is possible to make these characters movies is origin story. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like Doctor Doom, yeah. I can yes. definitely yeah. see okay, origin- them going back talking about his mom right. and them and origin and that. movie. Okay, I can see. Okay, I can kind of see them in origin movie. The like, origin movies that that's fine, but then again, then, like then what? Then yeah. they would have to pull these other characters out. That's when they would do it. <laughs> yeah, but I but mean, the first movie, I can see like an orange, origin story for each character. You're right. You're like right. Doctor Doom, I'll be interested to see him mix his technology with the with the yeah, uh, magic. I, that, that, that see that I'm I'm, you know? okay, I'm fine with. It. It's just it's just. It's just weird. It's just how much like like same thing. Like like remember back in the, like Amazing Spider Man two. It's like oh they're gonna have a Sinister Six movie. Okay, I understand that because you know they're gonna put Spider Man yeah. in there, but like like so, that, so, so basically is Spider Man gonna be the antagonist? They're gonna make the antagonist win, right? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like we gonna have an all plan, and then okay, we can watch a movie, and then it was like Spider Man wins. It's like what's the point of the fucking Sinister Six movie? <laughs> maybe and then maybe, niggas, all these niggas ain't gonna win. Maybe it was like an ass backwards version of uh, Suicide Squad. <laughs> Thanks for saying. Bat- Batman was in there. I yeah. know. <laughs> Bat- Batman was the reason why they got in the in the in the brink in the first place. Them and Flash. Yeah. Him and Flash. Yeah, um, but see, but you gotta understand them because the Suicide Squad, they you know they you know they're um, inmates, then they're you know criminals yeah. who are doing it for good. See, I can see that mm-hmm. because there's a purpose, a reason why they're having the movie. Yeah. That I can understand. And the, Venom, and, 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 and I can understand because there's anti Venom and so he's an anti hero. I can see that, but everything else is like. No. What, like, made, what uh, made, I mean, even though Suicide Squad wasn't a critical success, it was a box office success. Mm-hmm, and what yeah. made and what made it intriguing because you had all these anti-heroes and these villains working together going against something more evil than them or sinister than themselves. themselves. See, that I can see that. So if you're going to go with bad guys, you're going to have to go with worse guys. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Who's worse than Dr. Doom? Well, I, I mean, maybe, maybe that's in Venom. Was, I think you're about to say Yeah, I'm talking about, like, like, hello, like, Venom. Like, Ven- yeah. Venom. Who's about- worse than Venom? Carnage. Carnage. There you go. Okay, <laughs> that's one. <laughs> you got all his kids, yeah, too, like, though. That's one. <laughs> that's one. You got all his kids, too, though. Separation anxiety. No, well, that, well that's still going to be the first one because it's based off the lethal protector. That's what's going to mm-hmm. base the movies going first on. They, then the second one, that's they, not- they, they, the second one, they can do Carnage. They could use the cards for the second one because that you gotta have cards on there. Now, what are you gonna do after that? Planet Venom, maybe. <laughs> Man, they got real fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, hey, it, you, it, you, heard, you heard me, Demetrius? I said Planet Venom because. Oh, I hear that. Yeah. But he gonna need other. How many other Sony characters out there? Exactly. Silver, Silver Sable, like. <laughs> <laughs> Sony man, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's I haven't be, heard civil. It, I haven't heard civil sable's it, name it, in so fucking saying. long. It's, it, it's gonna be a very daunting task for Sony to pull this out. I don't think Sony was really thinking this all the way through. They just wanted to throw some shit against the wall and hope that it sticks. And they were just trying to get a money grab. And that's the same thing. And I, you know, I'm a DC fan. Mm-hmm. After watching Justice League a couple of times, that's what I felt after watching that movie. When Kevin Sujihara said, 
no, the movie has to be two hours, no longer than two hours long, and yeah. all that shit. I'm like, dude, like this is a money grab. You know, there's Compromise. loyal yeah. DC fans who've been waiting all their fucking lives to see some shit like this, and that's what you did to us. I'm like, damn, like these, the, and that's the thing that fucks it up, man. Sometimes it's not even the 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 directors or anything. It's the fucking suits. It's the motherfuckers, the gatekeepers who make all these decisions, and it's just not doing the fans right. That's just no, you're me. making a, you're making a really good point with that, especially with DC because mm-hmm. it's almost like like you said like they it's a money grab. So like they'll throw out a movie and if it doesn't do well, they don't develop it. They don't try to work with it. They're like, oh, we'll just restart the character. Oh, new Superman. That's yeah. fine. New Batman. That's fine. You know what I mean? Versus like like you could tell like that Marvel like yeah, of course they're trying to make money, but you can like it's like you could tell it was grandma. it was made with, like love. made with love. It was yeah. made with love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DC. It doesn't always feel that way. I mean, I feel like they're starting to get there a little bit with the Justice I, I, League. But... I hope. I hope so with Aquaman. I hope Aquaman does well. I, I'm, I'm very confident with James Wan in his direction style. Mm-hmm. When I watched The Conjuring mm-hmm. and and everything else he did with that, and I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of sea monsters he's gonna have. Oh, yeah. I hope Aquaman be bad, uh, badass too, man. The, the, uh, there's the. The people at CinemaCon they saw the teaser and they said they were very excited and they say. The one thing that got my attention, they said Black Manta looked like he was ripped straight off from the comics. Wow. That's good. That's okay. good. That's great. Straight to source material. That's yeah, good. So Not no weird yeah. hybrid shit that they like, fucking nah, make. Nah, I need to that. see the ridiculous looking ass yeah. head Ugh. mask. I need to see that. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 hope, I hope he like yeah. not, not wears that throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. That's, right. that's, that's, that's <laughs> one, that's, that's one thing I will give DC more than Marvel that... DC, oh, characters yeah. will ki- <laughs> DC characters will keep their fucking mask on. on. Hell yeah, that, that's char- true. DC characters that will keep their true. fucking mask on. I knew you were going to say Marvel, that shit. They be like, every time you got to take your mask off, take your mask off, mask nigga. Off. They got to see, your- see your face. We got to make money. You know what I'm saying? That's what we we'll do the right. posters Thank and you shit. Right. You see, you look at the uh, Marvel posters and shit. You see every fucking ma- face. Ma- mask. In Marvel's defense, <laughs> they take their mask off a lot in the comics. Yes. They like to walk around with their mask off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they want you to get to know them as people, right? Ben Affleck like fuck that. I ain't taking my mask the off. The man nigga. behind the mask, or the woman behind the mask. You man, know, I wish that people would leave Ben Affleck alone and let him play Batman. Like, I think ba- Ben. I think Ben's a great Batman. I honestly believe I like it. Him. Like, like you him. seen now, you seen him. That you, scene, man. That you, fucking scene. You dude. seen you seen Batman do dark and gritty, and then you also see him do campy. He could do both. Yeah. Yeah. He was forced yeah. to be campy in Justice League, but in BVS, he was dark. Yes. yes. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to be campy. He, 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 and he, That's that, a perfect I like example that. for you talking about like characters like Venom will be able to do that. What? Be campy. Hmm. you saying it's, Venom it's, should be campy? Or no, what? not should be, but it's possible if they wanted to have Spider-Man Homecoming. Well, no, I, mean, Show up in oh, there. I, I think you know what I think they probably did. And I don't think they have they couldn't put the Venom in there. I mean, because they think maybe it's like, okay, they want to sell toys. He'll, he'll and Venom, scary, Venom too scary. It's too scary. He was scared of kid at kids. That's that's if one of the main reasons uh, why. <laughs> real, no, real and shit. You don't think like real Dark shit. Elf is an ugly motherfucker that's scary looking. No, Dark Elf is ugly fuck, but no, you look at <laughs> fucking Venom. Like, you see that teeth? You see? The, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a case. I'll give you a case. Wait, I my. Uh, my grandpa bought a Venom mask. Added it there. He scared oh, the shit out Lord. everybody. Wait, at my, at my, at my grandpa. Okay, okay, my question to you is: Was Venom in the cartoon for kids? Yes. Ooh. I rest my case. True. That's. I mean, that is true. It's, that is true. It, it, it could be animation. And it could not be as scary. But when you right. see, when you because they could tone down. Bruh, I mean, yeah, they could tone a down. live action but, but Venom. When you see this live action Venom when his teeth are looking just like Pennywise's and teeth, right? With a long yeah. ass tongue. His teeth, yeah, his teeth look just like the toy I wanted to buy as a kid. Yes. It look. I mean, it looks like a horror movie. Like, you, real, uh, you, like, you hear what I'm, you hear what I'm saying but, right now? But no, but no. His but teeth listen, look just like that the toy <laughs> I wanted to get as a kid. You right. You right. You get what I'm saying. Like, you got a point. Yeah. But there were two series. There was one that was an animated show, which is not the campy one. The one that they like, toned down a bit. And then there's the other shit, which was but like for the main I will collector. Also, I will also but have but to then say, again, the you, you're right. You're right. You're right. Though that around that time, looks, looks it was like around when movie. we were young. 
and we bought that. That's when we were, I mean, te- we were teens and adults. Maybe I feel yes. Maybe I feel as kids we get exposed to a lot of bad shit early in an early age, so it doesn't bother us. It's like we look at it like, oh, that shit's cool. So y'all think? But, y'all, so y'all think kids ain't gonna watch this Venom movie? Oh yeah, kids are gonna watch. Oh yeah. It. So what yeah. is? He, what, what the hell? What are you talking about? We're, we're, I guess we're talking what? as it's if because, we're corporations because remember, right? Because because remember in Batman Returns, yeah, Batman got was, a lot of shit for being too dark. Yeah, in Batman they, Returns, they pulled it because they they had a promotion for McDonald's and it was for the, uh, Batman Returns, and then they said when Tim Burton's movie got got really really dark and stuff, they pulled that shit immediately. Yeah, they right did. They did. Well, here's my thing with Sony. Like, you know, it's a new time where you that have true. grown people that is true no. and introducing it to the kids too so that is true i give you that they're gonna make hella money off the merchandise even if it's for the kids whether oh, yeah. they're scared or not and i personally can see them if it ever happened you know where this homecoming spider-man and this uh eddie brock would actually coexist if you look at the trailer where when the guys ran in his crib and the tentacles and i mean the the symbiote was doing things for him he was like why did we do that that was kind of like a mm-hmm. that wasn't really serious to me i'm like that's kind of like right you know it wasn't you know, rated r at you all. know what you might have a point about that about different times and everything mm-hmm. and and i i'm gonna give you this point as well because my nephew um he actually i for, totally forgot i totally forgot about this too he was that because I would tell him like he always asked me about like you know heroes and villains like that. He's a big villain, a Venom fan, mm. more than Spider Man. And I was thinking like he's like I like I like Venom though. He's he's so, he's so cool and stuff like that. And I'm thinking like you know now my nephew back then when he told me this he was he was eight. Yeah, he's he like a seven or eight. Yeah, I'm like yeah. you wait you you like I th- do you like Spider Man? He said no, I like Venom. I'm like okay. Oh shit, you know it's that's scary. And like damn, I'm I'm shocked. But and it says a different time because me like you know of course I was like Spider Man and then when I got like, Venom, a little bit older and stuff like that. But I was like oh, okay, damn, like he's he's dark and stuff. It looks scary, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm, like, that's why I'm like when you a get, teenager. Like that. But this was a kid. This is like yeah. he's a bit under ten and he likes Venom. He yeah. he's a big Venom fan. Nah, and he, and he knows about wrong. Carnage. Now he knows about Carnage. Now he don't know. I didn't tell him the shit about Carnage yet. Yeah. He knows he was just a red version. He thinking he's a red version of Venom. I'm like, yeah. I, I couldn't give him that. Yeah. That's too much information. Don't get me wrong. If we see the movie and it's all kinds of like gruesome shit going on, like Deadpool, then I'm like, okay, let's. He just I, stay in his lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. might just have to stay in his lane. Like, uh huh. Right, right, right. But I forgot. I told. I totally forgot about that. I was thinking about that. I was like, I forgot. My nephew's a big Venom fan. And I gotta tell you, can can I honestly believe they could do three movies out of him? Because that's pretty much what each character would get like three movies right yeah yeah and give or take yeah that that's that's correct and i feel like planet venom would be a good one <laughs> <laughs> planet venom yeah but they got like i said that it you know they have to pull their shit out their ass in order to first do of that. all let's make sure this movie is a success first, yeah that's first off that's the first thing they gotta do uh see if the movie's gonna do well critically and uh commercially mm. And okay. Then, yeah. and question. Because I want I to see Carnage. I want to see Maximum Carnage. I'm sorry, but you can't do Maximum Carnage without Spider Man. <laughs> or that's a crossover got, event too. Because yeah. you could have had all those yeah, other people all in there. Character Sheik, mm-hmm. uh, Hobgoblin, or I mean <laughs> D- D- Demo Goblin. Demo Goblin. Demo Goblin. Yeah. Uh, Cloak and Dagger. Uh, Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger. Which, which definitely ain't gonna do that because they got the TV show. Yeah, they can't do uh, it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what is his name? He had Captain America in it too. The mm-hmm. Cap, yeah, Cap the, the in copy there. of Spider Man uh, with the six arms. What's his name? I forgot. Oh, Doppelganger. Uh, Doppelganger. Doppelganger. Yeah, he looks scary too. Yeah, Demon Goblin, Hobgoblin. And yeah, there's a lot. Ca- man. You said carrier. Somebody said carrier. No, 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 no you can't. You can carrier. Carry the dude looked like a looked like a crackhead version of Green Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> He's floating yeah. around and shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, I thought it was, I thought it was uh, Demon Goblin. No, huh? Demo Goblin looks like Hobgoblin. Now, yeah, but the zombie, like the dark, version. zombie but, version. But yeah, yeah we get what you were saying about you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm except, sorry. We'll, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll, yeah. we'll see what happens. I know right. he needs we'll to excited, about. but all That's in all, my guy, so. but let's revert back to Infinity War. Okay. Um, you know, we already said our impressions. We'll be looking forward to. Um, my theory, you know, I think all the uh, people who are, are disintegrated are in the soul soul world. 
I think they're okay. living in the soul stone. I don't think they're completely dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're completely dead. So please yeah. stop crying, people. Yeah, that's why I was like, I didn't even feel anything. Like, uh, well, I mean, when Loki died, I was like, oh shit, this motherfucker dead. Well, I heard that next snap. <laughs> yeah, I, I was yeah. like, Man, you ain't coming back from that. Yeah, for real, like, yeah disintegrated. Uh, I think you might have a chance. Might like, they might have no, some time to come no, back, no, but no, that shit right yeah. there, nah. You, you ain't you ain't doing no tricks out of this one, motherfucker. Yeah. You got your ass. Him and all, he's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's gone. He, I'm gonna keep an open mind because hopefully they take this back. first movie as like what would happen, and then. Whatever happens here pre- can be reversed. I'm pretty yeah. sure they can be everybody reserved you know. back to the souls that yeah, they ain't they think knows lost and everything. Everybody back to normal and stuff like that. But so now, like knowing it by event, Avengers Part Four, we know Thanos is going to lose. What mm-hmm. you think it's going to take the luster out of finding a way to to see how they're going to come up with this win? Because this one, what created the luster of this movie was the fact that people weren't sure if Thanos was going to win or lose, and people thought the good guy was going to win when. Mm. Uh, when Thor struck the axe, the Stormbreaker, to his chest. Mm-hmm. And they thought, like, yo, they beat Thanos. And Thanos was like, yeah. nah, mm. you should have went for my head. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Snap. I'm out of here. <laughs> right. Peace. Yeah. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I mean, I wish so I wish he would have got, got his head or his arm. He chopped that bitch <laughs> off. <laughs> no real <laughs> shit. Like you, can talk, you can't do shit without no arm. You get a pinning gun with his hand. Like, you take yo, that shit like, out and not, boom, right? done. Like, it goes back to what Demetrius was talking about. What he was so focused on killing um, Thanos, yep. he wasn't thinking about stopping him from snapping that finger. God yeah. damn, Dude, barbarians! They were, they were fighting with their heart. And damn, their barbarians! <laughs> the Asgardians! Yeah. The Asgardians! Barbarians! Yeah, man. they only got one I purpose really, to kill. I really feel like they were setting us up. They were like, yo, they wanted us to know the next movie can't be like the, like any other movie. They're going to have to fight different if they're going to win, you know? Strategic. They're yeah, going to they, they're they're gonna have to go for Thanos' head. He yeah. said it. <laughs> I'm going for your head. Yeah. <laughs> yo. You better. Next time. I, I, I'll give you a tip. Next <laughs> a time, pro tip. Next time, you ain't going sh- to show up in my planet with no fucking male romper and shit. Uh, your version. You stupid. He, t- he took his fucking <laughs> armor off. That's another. That's not, that's, male romper. That's, that's fucking cocky, bro. This motherfucker took all his armor off. You know what that reminded me of? That's true. He did. He's like, man, I don't Holy need- shit, he did. <laughs> you know what that reminded me of, though? Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> he took all his armor yeah. off. He was like, "Man, these niggas, man, I ain't worried about these he's niggas. Like, man, this, give me like, my gauntlet." Not get- he's basically he's like, "I'm a, I'm, he's like, God got me. Yeah. <laughs> this gauntlet got me. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> I don't need no vest, no yeah. helmet, no nothing. Well, except for except for Hulk because that nigga did hit me a couple of times. I did have my armor on. Thank God for that. But <laughs> yeah, it, it'd have been a different outcome here. Yeah, but. I think it would have been a little different if, Hulk, if Thanos didn't have his uh. Have his shit on. Yeah, <laughs> kind of think of it. Yeah, those, I thought that because, punch, because that was the only time he had his armor when yeah, he fought them. Yeah, the punches probably would have hurt a little hard. <laughs> shit, he, a little then, you know, okay, okay, Hulk's gone. Okay, let me take this shit off. Everybody's just, just yeah. Squids. Basically, he was like, after Hulk, I could take this armor. Yeah, off. Yeah, pretty much. That's <laughs> man, you right. Hey, yeah. he, and like, he did know know people's names and stuff, so he probably did his homework. He, yeah, he said you ain't the only one that's smart. <laughs> 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 He yeah. said, Tony Stark? He said, Hi, he know me? He said, oh, yeah. Cursed with knowledge, right? That's yeah. He yeah. yeah. He's like, you're, you're not the only one cursed, cursed with knowledge. knowledge. Nice. Man, that's deep. I would have I would have felt I felt like I got some props like this nigga know me. All right, cool. I mean, yo, yo, what's up? I mean, hey, what do you want to do? Hey. Kill me. Yeah. <laughs> right. To yeah. kill me, it's like let's share our knowledge together. Hell, like, I'll get Bruce Banner. I'm like, come on, man, we could have found a way to balance the universe. You had to kill everybody, my nigga. Like, come on, right? Man. Just <laughs> curse and knowledge. Like, you know what? It turned into a blessing, my brother. And we all could have <laughs> found a way to make right. this work. Exactly. So you know hey, what, my brother? That's all we need. We just need a hotel Thanos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> oh my Both god! Both of you. <laughs> Yo, give that man a top knot, some African beads. We good to go. He's like he showed up to Wakanda. He would have blended right in. The niggas purple. Oh my right. god! <laughs> oh, I'm just waiting to let off my energy. That's man. what he would have said. Oh. Like this is my Black Panther I suit. Like, I said you don't have to kill everybody. You, you know how many motherfuckers out there that need to deserve to die? <laughs> That's criminals. Let them go. You know. Then I was like, "Look yeah. at me. I got all the melanin in my 
my skin. He, or he could say, like, I got all the redistribution of kinetic energy all over me. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I'm just saying, like, and, you and, have the power to control reality. Why is the reality I need to kill half of y'all? Why can't reality be <laughs> we're going to get better government? Like, yeah. You don't understand. Man, man. That, when that shit happened on Titan, of him, uh, of them not listening to him, mm-hmm. I guess that oh. hit. That must have hurt him bad. He got to yeah. do the whole galaxy. Yeah. 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 Y'all just, won't it listen, just, huh? It just sucked how they did Black Panther. Black Panther was just launching at him. He was like, ah! I didn't even fucking think. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. It's like, was it's like, like you, dis- you disrespected him in his own kingdom. Yeah. yeah. He disrespected yeah. Black Panther in his own kingdom. Like, nigga, what the fuck are you? Is this your king? <laughs> what imagine? <laughs> what, what, what if Thanos did that? After he smacked him, he looked at Okoye like, is this your king? Right. <laughs> Bogus. <laughs> can't do it twice, man. No, no, not again. <laughs> not again. Can't, can't do it twice. <laughs> not again. Yo, all I'm saying, if I was in Baka, I'm like, hey, look, nigga. Ever since the child took over Wakanda, <laughs> Wakanda's been in some bullshit. Oh, wow. oh you know wow. what Marco said? You know, oh, Marco that's, said? Another that's, that's another thing. That's another thing. Since I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> since this is so funny. And Baku is still alive, so, so Baku's probably like that means. Am I the new king? He the new king? Right. Yeah, oh he was like, I mean, he's he, like everybody's had going on a plant based diet now. Everybody's a vegetarian. <laughs> since since okay. T'Challa gone, we don't know where T'Challa went. But since he's gone his absence, I will be the new king. <laughs> My question is where the dude from Get Out? Where was he at? Oh, Wakabi being uh, a mark ass uh, buster. He's he under the jail. He's like, he under he the jail. He's being a buster. <laughs> yeah. He probably yeah. look at Thanos like, hey, I can. He probably look at like Cornelius Clay like, hey, I know where the high division. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. he, partly, he partly snitched. Yeah. That's probably yeah. like, you know what's funny? That's probably how they got in and shit. <laughs> Thinking uh, about that shit. Probably with Kabi's bitch like, ass. Kabi's bitch yeah. ass probably yeah. told him where it's at. Yeah, division's up to third floor. Uh, <laughs> in the balcony. <laughs> in the balcony. <laughs> in the balcony. <laughs> I, I will balcony. show you the way. I'll show you the way. I'll show you the way. He's on the 18th floor. <laughs> do you, look do look you, for Shuri. Do you, do you need the strength of the Black Panther? Uh, Yo. <laughs> so like basically dude went all the way to Wakanda and he's still in the fucking place. Right. <laughs> oh right uh, kinda. You know, he just got he just he just fell in love with Killmonger for killing uh for killing you know, fulfilling the promise that T'Challa didn't do was kill uh Claw. Yeah, but I t- hey Demetrius, uh, I'll take you one step deeper. Maybe he's the same character from Get Out, but they were actually successful at <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I put somebody else's right, brain in him. Right, right, right. Oh man! Oh, the order of the Coagula was successful after all, right? Yeah, see, subversive right there. That's subversive. Oh, oh, oh shit! Man. Putting worlds together, but man, I'm gonna make them all connect. <laughs> I swear, man, we could go all day about this. I'm sorry for our listeners who don't usually get to hear this side of us and the listeners that don't care about our geek side, I know. Uh, well, we care. We're proud of we it. Care. Go watch the movie, and then when you're brokenhearted, you come back and listen to the podcast again. Yeah, right. I understand where we're I coming from. I already warned them on Twitter that we're going to spoil the fuck out of this episode. So if you and be sure to put it, And be sure to put it on the headlines soon once we, we put the I'm yeah, title. I'm going to I'm I'm title this Thanos Want All the Smoke. <laughs> Thanos want all the Thanos demands your silence. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah, so, but, uh, yeah, Demetrius, thank you for coming along, man. Do you have any shout-outs, brother, before we go ahead and uh, close it out? Nah, man, I just want to shout y'all out. Like, I appreciate you guys. The podcast, as always, is dope. Thank you for having me. Uh, Miss Nessa, thank you for having me in spirit. (laughs) <laughs> well, she's in she's in Cabo right now. Oh yeah, yeah. She, she, she's yeah, yeah. she's gonna have an NSA crazy. story uh, next week. And I'm I can't sure. wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so leave my shout outs now because I don't want to be a part of that episode. I'm married. So. <laughs> 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 no, no, I appreciate you guys. This is, it's always fun, man. It's always fun. Man, this is it's, it's the first thing, man. First of all, we just gotta make sure it's fun and everyone's having fun while they're doing it. Definitely, the man. Uh, but yeah, definitely. I'm gonna hit you up on some behind the scenes stuff. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna get things rolling, and yeah, man. Uh, eventually, let me know when you're gonna start filming some stuff. So, Most if you if you need man. one of us to come in and do some funny shit, this will be all 
helping each other out quid pro quo you know what i mean one hand washes the other so that's how we're gonna get through and that's how we're gonna make it in this city that we call the salty d aka san diego salty d. the salty d most <laughs> definitely i appreciate you <laughs> okay Mario, any shout outs my brother oh man you already know shout out to me man i mean, uh, I, mean <laughs> I, I, I appreciate you d coming through i appreciate everybody's been listening right now but I, you know you can't even hear what i have to say i definitely do even you're outside if you're Walking or you're jogging or you're stuck in traffic, you're taking a shit, you're cleaning your house or anything, all the above. Hey, I re- I appreciate that. Uh, Amazy. Shout out to Monica. Shout out to you, Demetrius, for coming through, man, chatting it up with us. Shout out to appreciate everybody you. that's listening, of course. Shout out to the to everybody involved in making these movies for us, man, for the last yes. time. Yes. 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 You know, from the actors to the directors to the writers to the producers, everybody, man. But yeah, that's 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 it. Actually, uh, you know what? I lied. I actually do have a shout out. What? Yes, I do. Have, I do have a shout out. <laughs> Special shout out to my cousin Stubo, aka Sweet Pea. He actually got married yesterday, so he found the one. Oh, congrats! To congrats him. to him. Oh, you yeah. know, blessings to him and his family. So. And he brought brought a kid in, so yeah, it's I'm proud of him. So that's all I'm doing. Oh man, yeah. that's awesome. Uh, shoot, like I said, uh, first of all, I'm gonna give a shout out to Affinity War for giving us this content to talk about. Yes, um, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know this is not the regularly scheduled programming where we uh, talk about, but it's a little break from it just for us to do a deep dive in just one particular subject because you know. Um, you know, sometimes we just, you know, one time, sometimes we just want to deep dive in one particular uh, topic. Sometimes we like to dabble yeah. into a little bit of everything. Just what we do is the jig is up. We do what the fuck we want to do. Yeah. Um, I know you right. guys, I, 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 I know you guys kind of expecting the, the Kanye stuff going now. We'll get to that. Oh, little yeah, we'll, 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 we, get we, the, we we'll get to know. the Kanye. Scoop-ity-doo. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to Scoop-ity-scoop. all that. Kanye yeah. is going to give us a whole month worth of content, so don't. <laughs> yeah, he, tweet, he tweets like about at least 50 shit to, uh, a day, so we'll, we'll, we'll get some soon. Man, yeah. this this MAGA Kanye, I'll tell you something else, man. This feels like some Elseworld, some Bizarro Kanye. If Kanye <laughs> was, Bizarro. If, if Bizarro Kanye. if Kanye were to fucking time travel and see himself from 10 years ago to now, he'd be like, what the fuck am I on? Like, it reminds me of... Yes. Uh, <laughs> it reminds me of that the, those last episodes of Spider Man the animated series. We had to go against himself. Self, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Carnage version of him. Oh shit. Fucking man. Fucking Saint is uh Damn, is, I is, forgot about cable. That His son Saint West would be cable and shit. <laughs> coming back like I gotta kill you, father. <laughs> that oh. means even killing me. <laughs> now I gotta get you out the sucking place. <laughs> <laughs> really though, I'm telling you right now, Donald Trump is somewhere eating fruit loops separate from his milk. I'm telling you. Right uh, now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn. Look at that uh, rapper draft picks. <laughs> yeah. Maga Yay. That's what I'm calling him now. Maga oh, Yay. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what else, man? Mother shout outs, man. Like I said, this movie, I give a shout out to the, the Russo brothers to even handling that cast this big with all these yeah. stars yeah. and making Bruh. it work. All these personalities. And, and the characters. only way to make this work was it had to be a 10 year plan for everyone to know these characters, be developed and and to be invested in all these characters. And that's what it works. I hope DC Warner Brothers, you guys are taking notes. It's okay. You guys yeah. don't have to rush. You don't have to hurry up and try to catch up what Marvel's doing. You guys could do your own thing. You guys could just make sure Aquaman's good. Make sure Shazam is good. Secure the bag with these Legion single movies. Of Doom. And then work on Legion of Doom. Please. Shout out to persistent patience right there. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Mm. So shout outs to all that, man. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. If you enjoy listening to this podcast as much as we love making it, because we do what we love and love what we do, and if you're not being your motherfucking self, you know what I got to say. The jig is up. is up. And we out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The jig is up. Can, can, can.